Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned.
expect him to carry it. He does a straight carry this time. Sammons blasting through. He powers through. Tyson Sammons, he has stiff arms. He's putting Russell players down all over the field. The snap, the hold, the kick. It's blocked. It's blocked. Greenham County wins this football game. Sammons going to fake this one. Look at around back there. Sammons going to take off and run. He's up to the 30, to the 40, to the 50. Tyson Sammons is gone. Oh, he's 40, gone. 30, he's 20, gone. 10, he's 5, gone. touchdown. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this My Town TV presentation of Greenup County Musketeers football. You are looking at Senior Night on the farm here in Lloyd, Kentucky, located alongside US 23, where we're uh, getting ready to graduate 11 seniors from the team this season, uh, nine active seniors on the team. And uh, tonight we're going to welcome in the Fleming County Panthers to the farm in what looks to be a very competitive final game of the season for each team. And I'd like anybody to know, if you're interested, then Senior Night is going to be recorded. We did record Senior Night in full here at My Town TV. So check with the My Town TV Facebook page uh, where we will post the complete video of Senior Night here at Greenup County for 2023. So I am Ryan Parker, and I'm alongside Sean Boggs tonight for this exciting game. Sean, uh, happy to be here once again at the farm. <clears throat> Ryan, I am so excited to be here at the farm. Uh, yeah, it is our final home game, and senior night, such a special night for us, uh, for our seniors. We're definitely going to miss them. They contributed so much for our Greenup program. Um, playing Fleming County, you know, we watched them preseason. Really excited by this. I think we're really well matched. Um, I'm really happy to get this game going. Yeah, we come into this game tonight with a record of 5-4, and four, and as you said, a win tonight clinches the second straight winning season for the Greenup County Musketeers as they went 8-5 and five last season. Greenup County, of course, is led by Tyson Sammons. I've got to lead with him tonight, Sean. We look for uh, other bright spots, and there are plenty, but the shining star is no doubt Tyson Sammons. His, his statistics – are absolutely out of this world at this point. 1,255 yards passing, 1,293 yards rushing, 31 total touchdowns on the season for Tyson. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's our weapon tonight. And what I really wanted to talk about, you know, before this game gets going is I would love to see Tyson, like, get the, the passing game going, give him some options where we don't have to keep it on the ground. We had – Ike Henderson, Austin Walker. I mean, we have a lot of weapons, and I think that's what's going to put us put us ahead of Fleming tonight. I just think they can't miss or you know match up with that. And also, too, you know, like I said last weekend, or last you know, defense won the game, so our defense needs to step up with Caden Holmes and and Waylon and and the rest of the crew. So um, I'm looking forward to this game. Yeah, and like you said, when Tyson does go to the air, a couple of these seniors out here uh, on Senior Night tonight. They are uh, his, his main targets. Aiden Goo has been his main target all season long. He's the leading receiver on this Musketeer team with 553 yards and seven total touchdowns receiving on the season. Brody Stevens, of course, is another very effective receiver, along with junior Drew Boggs. Yeah, Aiden Goo, uh, Brody Stevens, he's like that white horse. You know, we talked about that. He kind of comes out of nowhere. He's a playmaker. Aiden Goo definitely is. I'd love to see Boggs have like a – Drew have like a super, super game. I really think that will open up a lot of options for the Greenup offense tonight. Greenup County, of course, their playoff fate is already determined. Next week they will be headed to Covington Catholic, and we will have that game for you on My Town Radio. So we'll be heading down to Covington Catholic to cover that Greenup County Musketeer playoff game for you in 2023 uh, from Covington on My Town Radio. Sean, let's talk briefly about Fleming County. They come into this game with a 6-3 and three record. At the start of this season, they were really one of the district favorites in the Class 3A district they find themselves in with East Carter and Russell. But, um, you know, they had some trouble, a lot of turnovers. They turned the ball over four times against Russell, three times against East Carter. Lost those two very important games to them. But they seem to have gotten things turned around a bit in these last three or four games as they have uh, absolutely destroyed a couple teams in West Carter and Bath County the last two weeks. Well, yeah, that was a really big surprise how Russell beat them that bad. I, you know, Fleming's a really good team. They're big. 
They're physical. Uh, we we saw them preseason with their line. Um, you know, they're they're this. Like I said, this is going to be a really well matched game. I think Grant needs to come out tough. They need to make sure they keep that lead because Fleming County is one of those teams that can come back on you really quick. And um, yeah. like I said, the physicality of the games. It, whoever's the most physical is going to win tonight. Yeah, the excitement we saw in that scrimmage game out at the EKC Gritorama at Boyd County. I expect nothing less than that to be replicated right here tonight on our field here at the farm. It was a good game between Fleming County and Greenup County in the preseason. So we'll see now how far these teams have progressed now that they've played ten we- or nine full weeks of football. This is the last game for each of these teams. Uh, Fleming County, they are uh, led by quarterback Nate Martin, uh, running back Austin Trent, and another guy, Sean, uh, number two, Greenup County has to keep their eye out for him tonight. Landon Johnson. He's the leading receiver for Fleming County, but as of about three games ago, Landon Johnson started getting a lot more carries out of the backfield. They've been running a wildcat offense, and he's running for 18 yards a carry average so far. Yeah, and we saw that wildcat offense a lot last week, and you know, what I was talking about, you know, earlier with Greenup's defense, you know, we, we need to see a big game with our defensive line. We need to get pressure on them. Um, you know, we need to get Caden Holmes, Waylon Perkins involved. We need Drew in the back. Um, you know, I, I can just go on and on with our defense. Our defense is really tough. I, I feel really good about that tonight, but they have to really play physical and, uh, and get after them early, Ryan. And I was talking to a lot of the Fleming County personnel before the game. They have a lot of hope for their playoff chances this season as they head to Lloyd Memorial next week, and that is a winnable game for them. If they should beat Lloyd Memorial, they're probably going to come back and have a rematch in what was a four-point loss at East Carter in round two. So they're really wanting to get back to East Carter. Yeah, East Carter is, uh, I mean, you know, East Carter has improved throughout the whole season, so that's going to be really tough. So we'll be uh, right back here and uh, be right back here at the farm on My Town TV. We're about eight minutes from kickoff. It's tailgate time in the bluegrass. Uncle Uncle Rick, Rick, what what are you doing? doing? I'm getting ready to make my announcing debut. And I believe that's football time in the bluegrass. But you can believe this. Clark's has everything you need for a winning tailgate. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. back here in Lloyd, Kentucky. You're looking at the farm. It's senior night. The Greenup County Musketeers are getting set to play the Fleming County Panthers, their guest. Let me just run down these Greenup County seniors for you. It looks like the Greenup County seniors are going to be the captains of the game tonight, heading to midfield to have the coin toss. Brody Stevens, number eight, been an excellent receiver all season for Greenup County. Ike Henderson, of course, got hurt in the East Carter game, missed a good chunk of the season, but what a running back he's been, Sean. Yes, yes. Uh, Carter Gillum, Gillum, the kicker, he's done a great job all season long for Greenup County. 
is a first team uh, 16th region, uh, all 16th region soccer player as well. Aiden Gu, of course, been the leading receiver this year for the Musketeers. RJ Veach coming out to play football this year from the basketball court for the first time, done a great job for Greenup County. Joe Schmock, uh, number 59, has served on the line for Greenup County. Kaysen Fischel, Elijah Smith has been the center. Ethan Thomas for the Greenup County Musketeers. As you hear the music start, the Musketeers are getting ready to come out on the field. We're going to take one more break here on My Town TV. We'll be right back. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or you know, several years and I think you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home, and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. I felt like I didn't matter at my past job and Regroup helps me to feel like I am important and that I have meaning and purpose. If you really want to feel like you are important, um, and feel like you want a home, um, some place that you can talk to anybody about anything, I think Regroup is the place for you to work. Like we're a team and we're a family and I feel just like I'm welcomed here and I'm loved here and I feel like I matter here. better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. It's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody. Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. For over 60 years, Ashland Office Supply has been your locally owned office supply shop. From office supplies to furniture, they have everything you need to keep your business running smoothly. Shop online at ashlandoffice.com. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux Jewelers, and this uh, school season we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you and any of your gift giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. back here at the farm in Lloyd, Kentucky for the final home game of this 2023 season for these Greenup County Musketeers. The Fleming County Panthers are across the way. They are the guests tonight on senior night here at Greenup County High School. Greenup County has uh, 
Well, actually, Fleming County won the toss. They deferred. They're going to kick off to Greenup. Greenup's going to be going left to right, I believe. And Fleming County, right to left. Fleming County in the white. Jerseys with gray pants. Greenup County dressed in their all black tonight. Yeah, yeah. Greenup went all black. Uh, look, look really good. Really, really fired up. We had fired up um, Friday on WSAC this morning. So that was really cool. I mean, it's a it's a packed house here, Ryan. I mean, it's it's it loud. It's rowdy. I'm, I'm looking for a really good game. Greenup. Yeah, Greenup County, the community, very enthusiastic about the team this year, right now in particular, looking for the second winning season in a row for the Greenup County Musketeers. Yeah, Logan. Ron, I really think uh, Greenup's going to start out fast. We need a fast start, and we need our defense to step up and keep that lead. So Parker Sills kicks the ball off over on the far side. A fair catch is called for and made. And trying to catch the number. Who made that catch over there? But I failed to do so. I believe it was Colin Melvin. You know, like every every team we face this year, they will not kick us deep. You know, they either quick kick or, you know, they try to keep us on a short field. I think that helps us. Um, but, yeah, they will not let us get a run. And I wouldn't let Drew Boggs have a run on me either. So Now, if you've watched – Greenup County football, you'll recognize the quarterback is not number two tonight. He's number five, just a jersey switch. It's still Tyson Sammons, and he's in shotgun formation from the 31-yard line. Sammons back to pass, looking on the flat. Dangerous pass out there as Landon Johnson was bearing down, went over the head of Brody Stevens. Incomplete. It'll be second and ten. Yeah, it looked like a little little quick hit on number two. I think he got away with a little something there, but... You know, I like what we're doing. We want to start that tempo out fast, and that's what I was talking about. We need to establish our passing game. Uh, we know our running game's there, so we just want to open up some options for Greenham tonight. Ball rest right at the 31. Second down and 10 yards to go. Tyson Sammons, your quarterback tonight, wearing number five. Bog split out to the near side of the field. Sammons going to keep this one around the left side. Can't find a whole lot of room. I believe he was brought down right about the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up a big third down early in this game. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the way we started, like in our scrimmage, you know, preseason. You know, it was kind of like a, a tough physical chess match earlier. And then, like, Green have kind of warmed up. And so they just need to settle in and, and find their offense. Looking to the sidelines, 19 seconds on the play clock. Ball rest at the 32 yard line. Third down. And nine yards to go for the Musketeers. Two receivers to the near side of the field. Oh. And in motion this way, Sammons looking across the middle, looking deep down the left sideline. It's almost caught, caught some contact out there. No flag either way. Landon Johnson looking for offensive interference. Brody Stevens looking for defensive interference. And no flags thrown, so that will bring up fourth down. Yeah, that's kind of a surprising, you know, play series for Greenup. I thought we'd kind of run it a little bit more, kind of mix it up a little bit. So I think Greenup's just trying to – I think Coach Jones are just trying to find their way here. Fourth down and nine yards to go. Salmon's lined up at the quarterback position. He tries to pull him off sides, which he has been very successful at this year. He takes a few steps back. He's going to pooch punt this one. There's the snap, and we have an illegal procedure on Greenup County. That's going to move us back five yards <clears throat> to the 27-yard line. Yeah, it looks like we're going to a full punt formation now because of that. But. Sammons will still be the man to do the punting duties. As the ball rests at the 27-yard line, fourth down and 13 yards to go. Really nice job by the Fleming County defense there. We, it's been a while since we've seen the Greenup County offense bottled up like that on any drive. Yeah, we really didn't. I mean, we didn't, it seemed like we just weren't connecting with our receivers. We weren't, um, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, with, with Greenup's offense, we have to get slapped a little bit, and hopefully this is it, and they're going to wake up and come out hard next time. Sammons gets the punt away. Landon Johnson faking like he's going to get it, but the man on the far side of the field picks it up. 
Gets it over midfield down to the 49-yard line of Greenup, and that's where Fleming County will start their first drive of the game. Yeah, that's where we need to see Greenup's defense step up, get the ball back, have a quick three and out. So we'll see what Greenup's going to do on this. Nate Martin will be at quarterback for Fleming County tonight. Austin Trent is usually the man in the backfield, number 20. He has 897 yards rushing and nine touchdowns on the season. Landon Johnson is the most dangerous receiver for Fleming County. He split out to the near side of the field. Martin back to pass, gets it to Johnson at the 49. Johnson being ran down, trying to get away. He's very elusive as he gets down past the 40, inside the 40, down to the 39-yard line, very close to a first down, if not a first down. And it is a first down all the way down to the 30. Six yard line. Yeah, it look, really looked like a hold back there on the 50 yard line that um, I think Fleming County got a hold, got away with. But you know, yeah, Greenup County appeared it, to have Johnson dead to rights back there in the backfield, it, but uh, he he got away. Yeah, it is what it is. <clears throat> All rest at the 36 yard line. Fleming County, first and ten, looking to strike first in this game. Martin at quarterback. With Trent behind him, tough running, Austin Trent. But there's a give. Oh, they're going to run a little trick play, and he is drugged down wow. in the backfield by Austin Walker. Austin Walker makes the play on Jordan Harn. They tried to look like Jordan Harn was thinking about letting go of a pass there. Well, Austin Walker chased him down like a cheetah. That was some major speed. I mean, he was on him. I mean, he had no chance, and that's what I want to see out of Greenup's defense tonight. So getting yeah. after people. Great job by Austin. That moves Fleming County back 11 yards all the way to the 47-yard the line of Greenup, where it'll be second down and 21 yards to go now. Just underway in this one. Ten minutes to go in the first quarter. Martin in shotgun formation. Harn in motion. Trent up the middle. He has room up the middle. He's a bowling ball once he gets going up the middle. Powerful runner. Austin Trent. He gets 11 yards back. Yeah, this is a very important third down for Greenup because we are typically in four-down territory in high school football, so getting a big stop at the line could really – could really change things. We don't want to get him close to the first down. Trent got that one all the way back to the 36-yard line for a third down and 10 yards to go. Martin calling the signals. He's back to pass. Looks down the right side. It's complete. Way over there to Landon Johnson. Who else? Who catches the pass and steps out of bounds for the first down Fleming County. It moves it down to the 24-yard line of Greenup. So a nice job by Fleming County getting out of the big hole. Had 21 yards to go for the first down, and they get it. Yeah, that was a really na nice catch by Landon Johnson. I mean, that's There's a give to Trent again up the middle. He has good yardage. He picks up about six or seven straight through the middle down to the 20-yard line. Make it the 19. It'll be second down and five yards to go. Yeah, Greenup really needs a big stop here. You know, hold them to whatever. Um, turnover would be great. I mean, you that, never know. That I mean, would be ideal at this point. Fleming County moving the ball very effectively on the Musketeers. There's another give to Austin Trent. He is brought down this time for a gain of about two or three. Sean, i got to tell you, the, the, the black on green, I have the most trouble with this uniform combination, getting yeah. the numbers on the Greenham County players. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to see the numbers. but So forgive me if we don't call out who particularly makes a <laughs> tackle uh, every now and then. Trent lined up beside of, uh, looks like Landon Johnson back there at quarterback this time. Johnson. Has some room on the left side. Did he get the first down? Yes, he did. He cleared the first down marker. Picked up about four yards down to the 13-yard line of Greenup County where it will be another first down. 
Yeah, gr <clears throat> yeah, Greenup did a really good job stopping that. I mean, I wish we would have done that upfield, you know, but it is <clears> – <throat> I hate, I hate to keep saying that. It is what it is. We just need to kind of settle in and get confident, and I, I think we will here really soon. Yeah, Landon Johnson, that's something Fleming County has been going to more and more as the year has progressed. He's been getting more carries. They're back to Martin at quarterback. He gives it to Harn, looking around the right end. Harn is almost drugged down, and then he oh. is drugged down by about half the Greenup County defense. Yeah, that was a really nice stop by Greenup. They really needed that, so... Um, you know, we saw it on the last play, even though it was a third and two. I mean, that's, a, that's an easy pickup. But, you know, you, you can kind of see that Greenup's defense is starting to settle in, get a little confidence. Second down and actually a loss of about one yard that time. So second down and 11 yards to go. Yeah, Greenup's really stingy when you get in the red zone with them, you know, when you're trying to kick it or anything. So um, they're going to have to fight for every inch. Fleming County looks like they are they're going to give it to Austin Trent running to the right side. He's bottled up again. Good job by the Greenup County front. I see uh, Braddock McCracken in there helping make the stop the for the Musketeers. The McCracken. Unleash the Kraken. We like that name, and we'll like that one for uh, you know, future seasons as well. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that was a great stop by McCracken. So third down, and uh, they're going to call it 12 yards to go on the scoreboard here. 6.30 and counting here in the first quarter from Greenup County. No score. There's Johnson again. He's going to take it. He makes his way out to the left side. Johnson going to be all the way into the end zone for a touchdown for the Fleming County Panthers. Landon Johnson on the run. Yeah, Fleming County really read that one well. I mean, they, that was a design play. You can tell it was a design play. They've seen stuff on films. And um, well, as we said, Landon Johnson, I mean, he has been a devastating difference maker running the football for this Fleming County team these last three games. Parker Sills in to try the extra point, trying to make it 7 0 Fleming. Snaps back, the holds down, the kick is up, and it is good. So we're 7 0 Fleming County leads Greenup. 621 left in the first here at Greenup County on My Town TV. Uncle Rick, what are you doing? I'm dreaming. Of what? Fall on the bluegrass, days at the track, nights on the 50-yard line. Well, you want to be at the 50 instead of on the 50. That could be dangerous. But to complete your day, you can count on Clark's Pump and Shop. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Advanta Clean, your 24-7 experts for water and mold. We are back here in Lloyd, Kentucky on My Town TV. 621 remaining in the first quarter. Fleming County has just gone on top of Greenup County 7 to nothing on a Landon Johnson touchdown run. Parker Sills has the ball set at the 40-yard line, ready to kick off to the Musketeers. Drew Boggs back deep to receive for Greenup County. Sills approaches the ball, sends it down the field. It's going to go to the far side. And uh, the Brody Stevens trying to run this one back for the Musketeers. He's going to be corralled at the 28-yard line where Greenup County will start their second drive of the game. Yeah, we really need a big offensive stand this time. I mean, the first, first series was kind of like um, – it, it well, it was flat, you know. Um, so we really need to come out here and answer this touchdown because – you know, we can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. I mean, we've played some huge teams this year. we played some really good teams, and we can score on really big teams. So um, we'll see what Greenup's going to do here. And Fleming County does have a huge team along that front line, number 59, Chris Collette. It's up there, number 33, Aiden Johnson. There's a snap back to Sammons. Going to run a little screen play, and he missed, misjudged that one and almost you know, through the hands of – Number 36, Jordan Harn, who's beating himself up over that one as he saw the end zone in his eyes. Oh, absolutely, yeah. 
So, you know, you got to have your patience catch it first, you know. I'm sure he was thinking about downfield all the way. So, uh, Tyson Sammons has started this one 0 for 3 against Fleming County, and it's second down and 10 yards to go from the 28. The new number, 5, has not been kind to Tyson it, it so far. It hasn't been kind, but we haven't seen much of a run game either, so we need to. Sammons gives it up the middle. Looks like, uh, is that Austin Walker? Nope, it's Ike Henderson this time. Henderson plows forward for about, let's give him five yards on the carry. Yeah, I, th I think Greenup needs to kind of settle in, get their running game going. The passing game's not there yet. I think it'll be there eventually, but we need, we need first downs and we need to keep this ball moving. Sammons, oh, he caught him that time. They jumped off sides. Tyson Sammons does a, as good a job as anybody we've seen all season in uh, changing the cadence on his snap count and catching the other team off sides. He is definitely a magician at that. I mean, he does a really good job. I don't know what he does, and, you know, that just speaks for the discipline of, of Greenup's team to be able to know what he's getting ready to do. So that's got us several first downs. and that's Did, a, Didn't quite get the first down this time. The ball has moved out the nose of the football, rest at the 38-yard line as the head official is moving toward. He's saying it is a first down now. Move the chains on the far side of the field. Well, do what he told you guys. He said first down. Yep, yep. Good for him. He was absolutely right. I mean, good was, eye. Yeah. It was third and probably like a long four, you know, for us not to get that. That was so good for him. Good job, officials. One of the few times this season we've said those words. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Tyson Sam is going to run this when he slips the tackle. Sammons, he's out to midfield. He's down the yes, sideline to the 40. Sammons to the 30. He's inside the 30, down to the 27-yard line. Great run by Tyson Sammons. Yeah, that's exactly what we needed. We need to get the we, – <laughs> we could – we, you know, our passing game, it's going to come. It's going to come. But that running game, we just need to keep the – we need to keep the chains moving, and we need to get a score here. Well, Tyson did a good job slipping the first tackle getting out into open territory, getting that ball all the way down to the 27-yard line. That was a 35-yard gain by Tyson Sammons. He's in shotgun formation again. He swings this one out to the left, incomplete again to the hands of Drew Boggs. That'll bring up second down and 10 yards to go from the 27. As Greenup County trying to answer the drive of Fleming County and tie this game up. Yeah, I like the I like the quick pass. Um, you know, I, I think we're moving the ball on the ground very well against Fleming County. Um, you know, I think we need to stick with what's working for us. But, hey, I'm not the coach. Coach Jones has a plan. There's so. a give to Ike Henderson. Ike Henderson found some room. He gets down to the 10-yard line. Good run by Ike Henderson. Excellent vision that time. Excellent cutback by Ike. Yeah, Ike Henderson, he can, he can find, like, needle in a haystack. I mean, that, that guy can find a lane any time. So. They're going to give him 16 yards on the play. Say it's at the 11. So it's first and 10, Greenup County from the 11, according to the scoreboard. So they can get a first down right about the one-inch line. There's another give to Ike. He's slithering through the hole on the left side. Uh, gets a few yards. About three yards on the play from here, it looks like. I'll tell you, Ike Henderson, I mean, he's just a tough running back. I mean, he's just going to – I can't imagine trying to bring him down. I mean, he's going to fight you every inch of the way. So we're going to give Henderson three yards on that carry. Salmon's in shotgun formation again. Just a straight run by Tyson this time, trying to get to the outside. They have a hold of his jersey. That number five jersey is going to get ripped off. He's going to have to get another number even. Yeah, I'm not sure what other number he can get. I don't know what's <laughs> available. But. Tyson gets the ball down to about the, eh, about the let's call it the six-yard line, is it, Sean? Yeah, it looks like about the six. So, Sammons picks up three yards on the carry. I'd say it's uh, four down territory here for the Musketeers. They come out in their single file formation. 328 
and counting here in the first quarter. Sammons going to carry this one directly to the left. Cuts it back up the middle and into the end zone. Is it a touchdown? It sure is a touchdown. Yeah. Tyson Sammons takes the ball into the end zone for the Musketeers to bring Greenup County within one. Ryan, that's exactly what we needed right, right then. This was a perfect drive for Greenup. So now we need to build on this. We need to get a stop. And... We just we need to demoralize Fleming County's yeah, their, offense. Their momentum that they have going. Yeah, yeah, yeah they have a it's a very good Fleming County yeah. team. Now it looks like we're gonna line up and go for two again, Sean. We saw this last week. We've we've foregone the extra points. We're going for two now. Salmon's in shotgun formation. There's a give to Henderson. He Cats oh, through in. the middle, and he's he is in. in. Ike Henderson is in for the two-point conversion. So Greenup County leads this one, 8-7. to seven. 319 left in the first quarter. We'll be right back here I at the like farm the on My Town TV. years they're very family oriented um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly they talk to you you know they know you by name you know you may not go in there for a day or you know several years and I think you, you go in there and you still feel like family recently we refinanced our home and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there this is my people Well, we told you in the pregame that this was going to be a competitive game. It has lived up to it so far. 319 left in the first quarter here from Greenup County. The Greenup County Musketeers have just taken an 8-7 lead on the Fleming County Panthers. That was a heck of an offensive, you know, offensive stand against uh, Fleming County. Greenup came out. They started doing what they typically do. You know, our passing game's not there for us yet, but our running game definitely is. We saw that with Ty Sammons, Ike Henderson. Um, I mean, that was just a gritty offensive series. And Gillum approaches the football. He kicks it far to the left side, but whistles are heard. It looks like it's going to be offsides on Greenup County, so they're going to have to move back five yards and try that kick off again. Yeah, but I, I love the, uh, the play calls by Coach Jones. I love the, the execution that we had. Um, now what we need – and I said at pregame, we need our defense to step up and not give them these runs because they Fleming County definitely has some weapons, so we need to stop them. My mistake, that moves the Musketeers back 10 yards all the way to the 30-yard line. Oh, they're, they're trying to step it back even further there, but uh, they're on the 30-yard line now, kicking off, so a huge advantage for Fleming County. And uh, this takes us back to last week, Sean, where – well, now, now they've got it corrected. They've moved it to the 35. I thought it was a five-yard penalty. I didn't know why exactly they were marching off 10 yards, but we're back to the right spot now, uh, the 35. Okay. Yeah, I, I couldn't figure out what the penalty was. I've never seen the offsides be 10 yards, but it must have been a – Here we go. Didn't yeah. see his hold anybody back now, there. But as I said, this takes us back to last week where we kicked it deep several times to Cameron Cross from Rowan County. He had good returns. Fleming County has Landon Johnson in the middle. He's very dangerous. It goes to Jordan Harn, though, on a line drive. He has some room here. Up the far side of the field, Harn gets uh, brought down right about the 35-yard line. Yeah, that was really good coverage by Greenup on their kickoff team. So they really closed the lanes down. They didn't give him anything, so that's good. It was a good kick. Yeah, honestly, that was excellent coverage right there because yeah. that was a line drive kick, so he didn't have a lot of time to get down there and, and cover him, Harn had the advantage. Yeah, yeah, the penalty didn't hurt us at all. So this is really good field position for Greenup. We just need some good defensive stops. We got them pinned back. We just can't afford any big runs right here. Here we go, Fleming County. Martin, that quarterback with Trent behind him. It's gonna be a give to Trent up the middle. Trent has some room. He gets hit right about the 41 yard line and drop there for a gain of six yards. Yeah, we really need to close those lanes down. I mean, um, you know, our defensive line, uh, they played stellar all year. Um, they just need to kind of get tuned in and, and stop those runs. We can't give them five or six yards every time. Yeah, that was 
kind of the theme of the night when we played Johnson Central here at home. Uh, Johnson, except Johnson Central, I guess they got 10 or 15 every time rather than five or six. Yeah, we would have took five or six that night. Yeah. Here we go, Martin at quarterback in shotgun formation. Uh, Austin Trent behind him once again, Martin. Back to pass. He fakes one. He's scrambling out to the right side of the field. He throws it downfield. Oh, was that a catch? My goodness, if it was, what a tremendous catch. And they are saying it was a catch by Landon Johnson on the far side of the field. He tippy-toed that far sideline and kept his feet in and made the catch. Yeah, Landon Johnson's having a heck of a game so far, and Greenup needs to have an answer for that. We we can't have those we can't have those catches like that. I mean, it was an cre- incredible catch. I'm not taking it away from the kid, but. It was Landon Johnson proving uh, that the hype about him is real. There's no question about it. First and 10 from the Greenup County 48-yard line. Man in motion to the near side of the field. It's a give to Trent up the middle. He is plowing over Greenup County tacklers. Gets all the way down to the 35-yard line of Greenup. And uh, we got a guy down right about the 42-yard line. He got steamrolled by Austin Trent, it looked like. Not sure who the player is down. Yeah, I can't see with the black jerseys. It's really hard to see. So let's take a break here with 2.12 to go in the first quarter, and we'll be right back here on My Town TV. safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. Advantage Clean, your 24-7 experts for water and mold. We're back here at Greenup County. The injured player on the field for Greenup was Drew Boggs. He is up and off the field, and he looks to be okay from our from our perspective. So it's first and ten for Fleming County at the Greenup County 35-yard line. Yeah, what I was, what we were kind of talking about, Ron. I mean, Greenup needs to have an answer for this running game. So far, they don't. It's a different look here at Big Aiden Johnson behind. Martin. He's just going to serve as a blocking back as Martin puts it up in the air. He made that one up for grabs and Greenup County could have come down with it. Landon Johnson had to turn into a defender that time and take the Greenup County defender down. Yeah, that was close. I, I wish Fleming County would do that more. So. would like to see that. Aiden Goo back there on coverage for the Musketeers. What a force he's been this year on both sides of the ball. We've seen him catch seven touchdowns this season, and also uh, we've seen him uh, make some key interceptions, like in the East Carter game. Oh, absolutely. Aiden Goo has been uh, instrumental in this offense. I mean, he's just been defense. He's just been incredible. So. To be honest, the Musketeers, they need a big play from the defense. They really do. We're going to reset the play clock here with uh, 157 left in the first quarter. So they reset the play clock. Fleming County has plenty of time. Nate Martin in shotgun formation again with uh, looks like Johnson behind him. Martin going to give the ball off to Aiden Johnson. He's going to try to plow through the middle. What a big back that is to try to bring down. They do bring him down after about four yards. That'll bring up second down and six yards to go. We'll make it third down. I'm sorry, third down and six after the incompletion. Yeah, I can I can see Fleming County trying to go back to the air or I mean. I would definitely be looking for number two. Yeah, I would I would definitely key in on him. Uh, you know, but right now what we're seeing, you know, Fleming has a lot of weapons on their offense. So, but Green, I'd love to see him get a big stop right here. This would, this, this would be a game changer if we could. Martin calling out the signals. It's a give to Johnson again up the middle. He is plowing forward with that big, strong body, and he gets the first down, down over the 25-yard line to the 23 of Greenup. Yeah, I mean, whatever's going on with our Greenup interior, you know, our linebackers, 
our secondary, you know, we need to figure out a way to stop this. And, you know, so far they're kind of having their way with us. But what we've seen so far, you know, through the season run, I mean, green it gets tougher as the game goes. So they look good now, but they may not look good here in a few minutes. Here we go. Martin, shotgun formation again. Johnson behind them. They're sticking with him. Martin fakes to him. Goes down the right sideline. It's picked off. Yes. Picked off on the yes. far side. Who came up with that ball, Sean? You uh, gotta help me here. That looks like maybe Aiden Goo. Is, is that Aiden? It sure is. It's Aiden Goo yeah. who makes the interception for the Musketeers. What a big play yeah, by Aiden Goo. We said we needed a big play. Goo came through. He did, yeah, and he almost had one a few minutes ago, and you know, he would have been off to the races with his speed. So yeah, this was great. So this is exactly what Greenup needed. You know, we dialed that up and you know, Fleming County was <laughs> was that kind of having our having their way running the game with us. So yeah, I'd like to see Fleming County do that all night. So first and ten from the thirteen yard line, twenty seven seconds left in the first quarter. Greenup leads eight seven. Sammons brings this Greenup County offense out and starts it in shotgun formation with two receivers split to the near side of the field, one to the far side, and I believe that's Ike Henderson back there with him. Man in motion. Sammons going to drop back to pass. Sammons looking long down the field. He throws it up there. Drew Boggs comes up with it at the 40 and over the 40 to the 43. Beautiful job by Drew Boggs. Yes. Yeah, you know, Drew, I mean, he's been close all night, so... It's good to see him get that ball. That really moves it out. And like I said, we have our running game established. Let's get our passing game going. And it looks like we're starting to get it going now. Nice touch on that pass, finding the room just over the receiver. Just a sideline warning against Greenup County from the official. So no harm done. Ball rests at the 43-yard line, though, on the big completion from Tyson Sammons to Boggs. Sammons in shotgun formation again. He's fake. He gives it to Ike Henderson. Henderson stretching this play out, and he's slammed to the ground for a loss of three yards. As the first quarter expires, it's 8-7. to seven. The Greenup County Musketeers lead the Fleming County Panthers. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. We're back here at Greenup County. The Greenup County cheerleaders have just put on a good show for us. Sean, I know that's a special time of the year for the cheerleaders. That is a special time. This is a special time. I mean, this is the cheer competition getting ready to start. Our cheer season is getting ready to start. We have a competition tomorrow in Circleville, or on Sunday, I'm, excuse me. Then we got regionals coming up at Corbin, the Bluegrass. So uh, this is a special time. We have the most special cheerleaders, world champion cheerleaders, national champion year and year and year after year. So uh, it was good to see them down there, and uh, they're, they're getting the crowd fired up. Definitely do a great job here at Greenup County is – we have a tremendous home environment here on the farm as they're waiting for the clock to get set. And it does get set now to 12 minutes. Here in the second quarter, Dyson Sammons brings the Musketeers out. Second down and 13 yards to go from the their own 40. Sammons going to try to keep this one, looking for some room. Tyson has a little bit of room out over the 45 where he's dropped at the 46-yard line. A pickup of six yards for Tyson. Yeah, that was a nice pickup. I think Green up is, you know, kind of getting their good field position. I think keeping it on the ground, those quick passes are like Drew, Aiden, you know, Aiden Goo, Brody Stevens. He's that, he's that, he's that missing link. You know, if you get him going, it's going to be lights out for Fleming County. Yeah, I like it when we include Brody Stevens in the offensive. Uh, Attack. There's no question. I really particularly like that option play we run to Brody. 
Here's Tyson back to pass, looking for a screen pass, looking to set it up. It is set up well. It's complete to Ike Henderson, and it's a first down, Musketeers, down into Fleming County territory at the 42-yard line. Yeah, that was nice. And you don't see Ike getting the ball that much like that, like as far as like the passes go. That was nice. He was so confident catching that ball. I mean, he had no trouble. He was he was off to the races. Yeah, well executed play that time by the Musketeers. Tyson Sammons finding the touch on his passes on this drive so far. Beautiful ball he put over the top to Drew Boggs. And then another nice touch on that one to get it completed to Ike Henderson. Musketeers with the football at the Fleming County 42. There's a give up the middle to Henderson. He eludes a couple tackles, but he's brought down at about the 39-yard line for a pickup of three, and he made that happen on his own. Yeah, yeah, he's just a tough running back. I said that <laughs> all the all, – actually all season, you know, even when he wasn't in the game. He's just uh, – he's a bulldog. He's going to come after you, and uh, he's going to make something happen. Second down, seven yards to go from the 39-yard line of Fleming County. Two receivers to the far side, one to the near side, Tyson Salmons. Back in shotgun formation for the Musketeers. He's going to keep it. Big number five carries a tackler for about four or five yards down to the 35-yard line. Yeah, it's so exciting to see Greenup's offense. I mean, every time they come out, you just you don't know what they're going to do. You know, I mean, they can, they can pass, they can run. They have so many different weapons, and it's exciting every time. Travis Jones has a lot of weapons to deploy on any given team on any given night. Salmons. Oh. He's, he pulled him off sides again. That's one of the weapons, Sean. That is. He's done it all year. I mean, he's a master at it. You know, the Greenups offense. I mean, kudos to them, the offensive line, having that discipline to be able to stay put. And uh, it, it works. It's proven. I'd love to have some stats on that. We'll have to go back and try to figure out some stats on that. because He's done it over and over and over all year. I, I was down there on the field before the game taking pictures of some of the Musketeers warming up. I should have asked Tyson. To, to show me what you do. Uh, what's your secret? I don't know. Would he give that away? It, probably not. No. Nope. <laughs> but it's a, I mean, we've probably gained at least 45, 50 yards this season on, on drawing teams offside, especially Russell. Yes. Know. First and 10 from the 31. Sammons gives it to Henderson. Henderson finds some room. Nice running by Ike. Good to have him back, man. I tell you, it was good to get him back last week, and it's great to have him out here running the football tonight. Down to the 25-yard line for a pickup of six. Yeah, he was one shoestring away from a touchdown right there. I mean, that's basically how they tackled him. So, Oh, oh but we got some laundry on the field. I did not see that. So Ike Henderson's gain will be negated, and Greenup County will be moved back 10 yards. Yeah, it looks like a hold. holding. Uh, yeah, I didn't see who they called it on. We were too, too busy celebrating Ike's run. but They we were. So it moves it back to the 41-yard line of Fleming County, first down and 20. Sam is in shotgun formation. He's going to be back to pass. He looks long down the right sideline. He has a man down there. Oh, he lofts coming. it in the air, and it's dropped. Oh. Yeah, the receiver down there. And can you see who that is across, far across the field in the dark? I mean, it's. I believe it looks like Drew Boggs. Yeah, it has think, the body type of Drew Boggs yeah, over I think, there. I think it was Drew Boggs. I think it went right through his hands. Yeah. Yeah, well, Drew had to stop on that one. And he didn't hit him in stride, so I mean, to, to his credit, he had to stop and come back to it. So that creates a – well, they still got it second down. But yeah, second down and 20 yards to go from the 41-yard line. Let's see if we can get one of these to make it count. Salmon's going to run the ball, and he is uh, brought down right at the 41. Good tackle that time by number 20, Austin Trent for Fleming County. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the, the pass play before. I mean, that's a smart play to, to play, but, um, you know, now Greenup really needs to dig in. And, I mean, to me, we're in four-down territory. So. Yeah, 8.59 and counting on the clock. Here in the second quarter of play, 8-7, Musketeers lead, big third down and 20-plus. Sammons back to pass. He's looking long down the middle of the field. It's, it's caught! Oh! It's caught! This is Aiden Goo! It's Aiden, Aiden Goo for the touchdown! A 42-yard strike from Tyson Sammons to Aiden Goo! Oh, my gosh. What a play for that the was, Musketeers. That was a play. 
Wow. Holy cow, man, that was that was a rocket. I mean, that was a lightning strike to Aiden Goo. Senior night, what a special memory for him. Touchdown, Greenham. Quite honestly, what a receiver Aiden Goo has been this year for Greenham County. Aiden, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to miss that young man. So yeah, that is, <laughs> he's, he has left some big shoes to fill. <laughs> he does, yeah. Yes. So the Musketeers going to line up and go for two once again. Coach Travis Jones. Calling in the play. Greenup County leading 14-7 right now. Sammons and Henderson in the backfield. Sends Drew Boggs in motion and the flags fly. And with that, looks like it's going to be an illegal procedure against Greenup County. So Travis Jones holds up the finger one and sends in the kicker. Yeah, looks like that's what we're going to do. I you know, you hate to see penalties like that because we've had a lot of success with that, the two-point play. You know, it kind of puts us up. Not that we don't have a kicker, but it's it, it does give us an advantage. But that's probably a smart call. Yeah, we good have a good kicker goal. in Carter Gillum. Uh, he's back at the – this will be a, effectively a 25-yard field goal for the extra point here. Gillum puts it up. Looks like it's through the uprights to me, yeah, and it is perfect. through the uprights. Yeah, good perfect. job, Carter Gillum. Musketeers lead this one 15 to 7, 8.43 left in the second quarter. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. You're wondering why you struggle to concentrate. You don't understand why your mood swings and your energy is down. You're asking yourself why you have feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or even suicidal thoughts. Your mind is screaming, help. Pathways is listening. Call or chat with our crisis helpline now at pathways-ky.org. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux Jewelers, and this uh, school season, we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you and any of your gift-giving needs, and uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. We are back here in Lloyd, Kentucky at the farm, the Greenham County Musketeers have just taken a 15 to seven lead over the Fleming County Panthers on a 42 yard strike down the middle of the field from Tyson Sammons to Mr. Aiden Goo. Yeah, Aiden Goo, I mean, we talked about this right before the break. I mean, he's just a, he's a special kid, special young man. What a catch. I mean, that was just an incredible throw by Ty Sammons and uh, here we are. Run 15 to seven, let's do it. Gillum gonna kick it off. Let's see where we kick this football to. We kick it straight down the middle of the field. We have another flag down as they call off sides on Greenup County on the kickoff for the second time in this game. Well, yeah, that's kind of, you know, th this time of the year with your special teams, I mean, they should be pretty tight. Not sure what the referees are seeing on that, but First time we've seen that called on the Musketeers all season long. Yeah, and we've got two of them tonight. So, But we really need to close these lanes down. And um, Could it be that this official has a keen eye for the offsides on the kickoffs? Yeah, maybe he got called when he was a kid. He, but he does have a very keen eye. That's a good word, Ryan. Here we go. Gillum kicking off from the 35. He puts it in the air. This one's going to go to Landon Johnson. Look out. Johnson surveys the field and looks for room to run. you got to take him down. Oh, and they do take yeah. him down. A beautiful tackle made by the Greenup County Musketeers. To me, it looks like that was R.J. Veach. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad he surveyed the field because that really slowed him down. You know, he, he would have done better just running up straight up and trying to make something happen. So that was a, that was a break for Greenup for sure. Big stop that time by the Greenup County special teams. So once again, Sean, even though we did get backed up five yards on the kickoff, Fleming County's right at their own 37-yard uh, line, so it didn't damage us too much. Yeah, it almost gives us like a little extra run for us. I mean, I'm not sure if that's by design or what, <laughs> but that's kind of rare for us to have two penalties on kickoffs. Is that Johnson in the backfield with the ball? Yes, it is. They're going back to Landon Johnson. He finds room around the left side, and he's gone. He's gone. Just like that, yeah. Fleming County has tied this football game up. Yeah. They yeah. went to the Wildcat, Landon Johnson. Yeah, you're not going to stop that kid. I mean, once he's – he was a good 15, 20 yards. Uh, it, it was a – Yeah, 18 
uh, yards a carry is what Landon Johnson has averaged so far this season. And he just added to that average with a long run from the 37. Uh, that's B60. Three-yard touchdown run for Landon Johnson. Yeah, Greenup needs to find a, an answer to that. I mean, obviously Fleming County, they're they're keying in on some stuff. They see some stuff, and um, well, I said he tied the game up. But uh, if they get the two-point conversion, they're going for the tie right now. They gave the opportunity to tie it up. Landon Johnson in the backfield again with Austin Trent. Going for two, Johnson. Looks like they're a little confused back there. Johnson going to have to try to out-athlete everybody here. He spins around. He's looking down the field. He's finally oh, wow. brought down out about the 20-yard line. So Fleming County does not get the two-point conversion. Greenup County still leads this one 15-13 to with 8.24 left in the second quarter. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap. HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. We're back here at the farm in Lloyd, Kentucky. Fleming County getting the long touchdown run from Landon Johnson, making this game 15 to 13. Fleming kicks off, Greenup County fields it, but slips to the ground at about the 22 yard line. That was uh, um, yeah, Brody right. Stevens. Brody yeah. Stevens had that one and he has slipped down. Greenup County will start this drive from their own 22. Yeah, it's hard to see the numbers, Ryan. You're right with those black jerseys. So we're trying our best, guys, at home. And you guys are watching it, so you might be on your own a little bit on that. But, uh, but yeah, Greenup's defense really needs to find a, find some answers. So we'll see what uh, our offense can do on this stand. Well, if we keep giving up touchdowns like this, we're going to have to keep scoring, much like the Johnson Central Ashland game last week where the, each team just scored every time. Yeah. Sammons gives it off up the middle. Uh, no yardage there for, was that Ike? Yeah, it was Ike. It was Ike Henderson. No gain on that play. Second down and 10 yards to go from the 22-yard line. I mean, so far, Ron, I mean, these where it rained a lot today, I mean, there's the slick field conditions. We haven't really seen that, so... Sammons in shotgun formation once again, as always. Fakes the handoff, looking across the middle. He has a man! He go, has go, a man! Go, 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 go! Oh, yeah, he's gone, he's gone, he's Brody gone. Stevens goes all the way for the 78-yard touchdown pass. Tyson Sammons to Brody Stevens. Brody. You called for Brody Stevens, and you got it. Brody Stevens. Yeah, like I said, man, he is that, he's that dark horse, man. He's going to come out of nowhere and this hurt you. He's that playmaker. But that was awesome, Ryan. I'm so fired up. That's exactly hey, one play. Or no, two plays, sorry. Two plays, so yeah. We, we, got it, we got it back, so no damage done. Now our defense needs to step up. Greenup's defense needs to step up. We need to get Pecker down there, talk to our defense, and get him fired up. There's no doubt about it. Somebody better get down there and talk to Talking about one of our longtime fans, Greenup's uh, number one fan, I believe, Michael Coffey. Carter Gilliam puts this kick up and through. 22-13, the Greenup County Musketeers lead the Fleming County Panthers. 7.33 left in the second quarter. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. 
with student-athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program, with walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student-athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. Back here at Greenup County. Sean, as I said there, uh, going into the break, Michael Coffey, uh, one of the biggest fans, uh, if not the biggest, that Greenup County has. I've really enjoyed talking to him. Over the years, I've been down here with uh, Greenup County basketball, and uh, he comes to every Greenup County event, uh, Greenup County baseball, Greenup County football. You know, we just saw him before the game. Always comes up here and talks to us. Such a nice guy. He, Yeah, he really is. He's Greenup's number one fan. And uh, he's always here. He doesn't miss the games. And uh, it was it was good to see Michael tonight. Yeah, really appreciate having him around. Gillum kicks this one off deep to Harn. Harn on the run back for Fleming County out to the 25-yard oh. line. He's, he's met by a host of Greenup sandwich. County defenders. Nice coverage on Greenup on that play. They really closed those lanes down. I mean, they were – he had nowhere to go. Once again, that's a – Looks like, is that uh, number 25 in there? Looks like Jackson Bratchett. Yeah, Jackson Bratchett in on that tackle. He was one of a host of Greenup County defenders to meet. Jordan yep. Harn. Yeah, really nice job by Greenup, really closing those lanes down and giving them a long field. That's exactly what we needed. Now we need our defense. You've our been offense. calling for it all night long, all night. Sean. We'll see a good stop right here. Here we go. Martin, uh, I believe it's Martin. I know it's Landon Johnson at quarterback again. He gives this one off to Trent up the middle. And he'll get about three yards. So not a bad start for the defense. Not bad. Not bad. But, you know, as we've seen all year, Ryan, I mean, our, our, our green up defense, they get tougher as the game goes. So we're, I'm hoping this is the start of that toughness that we've seen since game one. Yeah, Fleming County knows they have to keep their foot on the gas here to keep up. 22-13 is our score, 650 and counting to go in the first half here on senior night from Greenup where the seniors have had a good time so far. Aiden Goo with an oh, interception, nice touchdown catch. Yeah, a good stop by the Greenup County defense up the middle for one yard that time. So maybe they listen to you, Sean. I hope so. I hope so because I know, I know our defense is great. Uh, our, our interior defensive line is great. Our, our secondary, uh, Waylon, Caden. I mean, let's get some Waylon songs going. I've been waiting all season for that, Sean. I know. I'm waiting on you to bust out those lyrics. I will sing the Waylon song. We need a good stop right here. Do it. All right, here we go. Third down and six yards to go from the 33-yard line. Nate Martin in shotgun formation. He's back to pass. He swings it out there to Landon Johnson. It's complete. He slips a tackle. Johnson is tough to bring down. Man alive, that guy's good. Yeah. Greenup really needs to read that. I mean, we kind of know what they're going to do. I mean, we just need – it seems like we're just like one step away from an interception. We're one step away from a knockdown. I mean, that's, that's what it appears from here. It's just uh, we just need to find a new gear against Landon Johnson. No doubt, Landon Johnson is a prime time player. The ball rests right at the midfield stripe, right above the Musketeer logo. Got to say, the field stripers have done an excellent job on the field tonight. We have Musketeers written in the far right end zone and all the senior numbers in the far left end zone. Here's a give up the middle. We're doing a much better job getting this shut down. The Austin Trent runs up the middle at this point. Yeah, yeah. Our interior defensive line, you know, kudos to them. I mean, they're really they're really stepping up. It looks like, you know, honestly, Ryan, they're, they're getting off the ball a little faster, you know. So I don't know if, like, Fleming County's just tiring out a little bit, but we have to find an answer for that pass, and we have to find an answer for Landon Johnson. Nate Martin back in shotgun formation again with Trent behind him. Kind of that pistol formation that Fleming County sticks with. Man in motion is Harn. There's a give to Trent. Now, as soon as I said that, Trent bust up the middle, and he's going to go all the way. 
Austin Trent is in the end zone. Wow. Yeah. It's, um, I mean, it, it is. I mean, it's, it's going to be a fist fight. You know, who can throw the last blow that knocks somebody out? And, and that's what it kind of seems like so far with this game. Uh, let's just see what Greenup comes back with. So. 22 to 19, that sets the score at. We'll see if Fleming County chooses to go for one or two. Looks like they're going to bring out Parker Sills and go for the extra point. That's good. That, that bodes well for Greenup. We are blocking experts. Yeah, they got to watch out for the Greenup County special teams as we are have proven to be mightily, mightily adept at getting through here. Almost get through. Parker Sills gets the cook up and through, though. It's 22-20, 4.49 left in the second quarter. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. For over 60 years, Ashland Office Supply has been your locally owned office supply shop. From office supplies to furniture, they have everything you need to keep your business running smoothly. Shop online at ashlandoffice.com. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. We are back here at the farm in Greenup County, Kentucky where the Fleming County Panthers have answered once again, and Greenup County leads this one 22-20 with 4.49 left in the half. Yeah, Greenup really needs to find an answer to Fleming County's uh, offense. I mean, obviously our offense is firing on all cylinders so far, but we really need to find an answer with our defense. Sills kicks it to the near side, and uh, this time uh, Stevens is going to let it go out of bounds. The flag falls down. We'll see if we take it. Look. Should take That's us to the 35. 35 yard line, or you can choose, I believe, to make them kick it again. We'll see what Coach Travis Jones decides. Looks like we're just going to take it right here at the 35. Yeah, Greenup, um, <clears throat> Greenup's defense. You know, it's like we don't we don't have an answer yet for Fleming's offense. I mean, for sure. I mean, they've. They've used a couple of different backs against us. Landon Johnson, who was the last one that the big running back? Austin Trent. Austin yeah. Trent. Yeah. Yeah, he pretty much went untouched. So Greenup needs to find a new gear against 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 them. Here we go. Sammons gets the snap and gives this one off to Ike Henderson. He's running it wide right. Oh. Good run by Ike. Uh, he slips Landon Johnson's tackle. Gets down into Fleming County territory at the 44-yard line. Great run by Ike Henderson. Yeah, that was a really tough run. And, you know, he was just one one spin away from going for the end zone. And 21 yards for Henderson. That's the, that's the toughness of Ike Henderson, senior, on senior night. It's one of those games, uh, Sean. I'm going to have to get my calculator out to do these statistics at <laughs> halftime as they are getting big yards and chunks. Yeah. First and 10 from the Fleming County 44. Here come the Musketeers. Sammons checks the Fleming County defense, looks over to Coach Travis Jones. The play clock's about to run out. They better snap it right now. They do. They give it off to Henderson. He breaks a tackle. Good job by Ike. That could have nice. been stopped for a loss. Yeah, but he absolutely. turns what would be a loss into about a seven-yard gain. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it looks like um, – Ty was waving one play off, and luckily we got the ball off. We didn't get a penalty. And, of course, Ike Henderson is Ike Henderson. So. Yeah, the more I see Ike Henderson run, the more I appreciate how much we missed him while he was out. Yeah, we, I missed him greatly. So. Waylon Perkins probably missed him too because he had to <laughs> do double duty. Right now Waylon gets to rest on the bench and get ready for defense. Salmon swings this one out to Brody Stevens at the 40. Stevens. Almost slips a tackle. He's spinning around. Stevens getting extra yards yeah. down the sideline, inside the 30 to the 27 of Fleming County. What a tough kid. Brody Stevens, I mean, you get him going, you know, like I said, I mean, he's just one of those, he's, he's a weapon. I mean, he is definitely a weapon. 
you can't count him out, and uh, he makes things happen. Love to see that kid play. Him, Aiden Goo, all of them. Ike, Dawson Walker, back on it. I can just go on and on. I tell you, you got to say, the two senior receivers, Aiden Goo and Brody Stevens, are having themselves a night here on senior night at the farm. Tyson Sammons wearing number five tonight rather than his no usual number two. Number two jersey got ripped apart. Tyson Sammons finding oh, room nice. up the middle and a powerful run by Tyson, leveling a Fleming County defender and picking up a good seven or eight yards. Yeah, that was a nice clean play by Greenup. You know, you always worry about those plays coming back and stuff, but it was really well executed. Everybody got their blocks. He found the lane, he found the hole, and there you go. Nice eight yard pickup. 2.30 left in the half. Second down and two yards to go. Oh. And there we got us some extra yards again as the Fleming County defense gets antsy once more. And whatever Tyson Salmon says down there, uh, it worked once again. Uh, yeah, I would love to hear that. I'm sure he's not going to share the secrets with us. I wouldn't either, but it works every time. So that's uh, that's 15 yards so far tonight. Yeah, it's just tonight. Like you said, we've seen it game after game yeah. all season long. I mean, it's uh, it's – First down and uh, 10 yards to go. The ball rests at the Fleming County 14-yard line. At this point, I don't know if I want Greenup County to score too quickly. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's our defense, they're, they're going to have to find an answer. I mean, going to have to find an answer for this. And I, and I know we can. Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Yeah, trips to the far side of the field, I was going to say. Tyson's ready to take this snap here on first down and 10 yards to go. The play clock is running down. And they are kind of kind of slowing down a bit. Uh, Tyson Sammons gives the ball up the middle to Ike Henderson. He blasts through the pile and makes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Ike Henderson! Wow! From 14 yards out. Green of seniors are are showing showing their maturity and leadership tonight. So we've we've seen it from all. Aiden Goo, Ike Henderson. I mean, it's. Turned into a big pile of bodies there, and Ike Henderson popped out of the other side of it and took it in from 14 yards out. Good job by Ike. Carter Gillum in to try the extra point, try to make this one 29-20. Let's see if Carter can get the job done. He put the snaps back, and the holes down. Is it? It's good. They okay. mark it's good. It's 29-20. Greenup County leads the Fleming County Panthers. 141 left. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Uncle Rick, what are you doing? I'm dreaming. Of what? Fall in the bluegrass, days at the track, nights on the 50-yard line. Well, you want to be at the 50 instead of on the 50. That could be dangerous. But to complete your day, you can count on Clark's Pump and Shop. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Advanta Clean, your 24-7 experts for water and mold. We're back here at Greenup County. I'd like to give a shout out to, to Mark and Trishel House who told me they'd be watching tonight from their camper. Sean, we got campers watching. That's awesome. I always love watching games from a campground. This is the perfect time to go camping. And Are they at Greenbow? Where are they at? Not sure. Nope. Not sure. Well, any campground's great to me. Good temperature in the air tonight. There's the kickoff from Gillum. Goes back, it looks like a Harn receives it. He's out over the 20. He's trying to run east to west. He does find a hole up through the middle, out over the 35 to the 38-yard line where Fleming County will start this drive with a minute 31 to go in the half. Yeah, you know, honestly, Ryan, I don't know if, like, the officials need to get behind there a little more, but, but there's, a lot, there's a lot of physical contact and a lot of holding going on that's is kind of getting missed, and you kind of hear it from the crowd, and they're absolutely right. I can see it up here. I mean, Here we go, Fleming County starting this one from their own 38. They're going to come out with, looks like Landon Johnson, that quarterback again. Very dangerous. He's going to take off the left side and wrap him up, guys. 
Yep. They get him down out over the 40, maybe to the 41. Yeah, it looks like he – no, he didn't get out of bounds, so the clock's still running, so that's good. Yeah, Fleming County has all three of their timeouts should they choose to use one here to try to stop the clock. Second down and seven yards to go. There's another snap back to Johnson. He's going to try to take it himself again. This time Greenup County is up to the task. They bring him down as he fires the ball at the Greenup County defender. I believe that's going to be 15 yards going against Fleming County this time. That would be my guess. Yeah, they called multiple flags, but I think that's going to go against Fleming County. Um, we'll see what the call is. Kind of a silly call. It stops the clock, which – he was tackled inbounds. As we await the signal from the White Hat official, he walks this way very patiently, is unsportsmanlike against Fleming County. It is going to back them up 15 yards, and that is a big blow to Fleming County with a minute to go in this half and down nine. It's going to force them to come up with one of these big plays that we have seen them do you know, pretty regularly tonight so far. Yeah. <clears throat> Coach Jones, I'm not sure who we have, what personnel we have out there, but we need to find a, find an answer to these uh, these big runs and some secondary tackles because Fleming County obviously have shown their speed. When they're loose, you're not going to stop them. So. Greenup County going to take a timeout right now. So we'll, we'll just stay right here during this break, guys. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Greenup County leading 29-20. Just a minute to go in the first half. Yeah, that's a very smart timeout by Coach Jones, kind of give his personnel lined up and where they need to be because um, we, we do not want a big run. We cannot let Fleming County score. We have the momentum. Uh, obviously, they're going to get the ball back the second half, but this kind of starts the second half. This kind of gets, gets everything going. Let's look at some other scores across the area right now, Sean. Pikeville leads Boyd County. 15 to 8 at the half. So Boyd County hanging in there against the Pikeville Panthers. Good job by Boyd County, one of our My Town schools. Ironton is up 56 to nothing at the half over their playoff opponent, Worthington Christian. So Ironton's rolling uh, as we would expect. Simon Kenton is up 35 28 over Ashland in the first half. 342 left. High scoring game they have going up at. Clark's Pump and Shop Putnam Stadium as well. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it's good to see our Montown schools. Um, you know, this would be a – you know, Ashland with the loss last week, this would be a big, big win for them against Simon Kenton. Simon Kenton's no joke. So, hopefully uh, Ashland can get back on the horse. And I believe if all goes as planned, we are going to have a special guest at halftime tonight, uh, one of our favorite sponsors from uh, – uh, well, Vanta Clean is his company, Joel Dooley is scheduled to come up and join us. So looking forward to talking to him about some new things he has going. So uh, here we go, back to action. One minute to go. There's the well, the ball goes to Harn, I believe, that time. Yeah, Jordan Harn takes that one up the middle. Yeah, it looks like Fleming's going to call a timeout probably. I didn't see the clock start, Ryan. The clock did not start at that time. Looked like there was still a minute to go. But, uh, well, actually, it may have started, Sean. I believe it reset for the timeout. That, uh, uh, okay. It looks like the – Now, the clock t- tells us that Greenup County called this timeout. Not sure, really. Oh, okay. Yeah. But there is a timeout on the field at the moment. We know that much. So, like I said, we look forward to having Joel Dooley up at halftime. He makes it up to talk to us. We look forward to that on the SOMC Halftime Show. Hey, while we have a couple seconds to uh, Ryan, I want to get a shout-out to uh, Greenham's band. Uh, did an excellent job this year. Um, I mean, I'm really, really impressed. I mean, they're, they're a pet band. Uh, but, you know, how they, how they perform this year, the pregame shows, I haven't seen a lot of other stuff they've done. But I know those kids work hard, and I just want to give them a shout-out. Yeah, they do a great job. Everybody here at Greenup County, from the cheerleaders to the band to the student section over here, you know, for the Fired Up Friday this morning and the student section, you know, they've been up since uh, <laughs> 4 a.m. Uh, well, 4 a.m. this morning, yeah. and they're still going hard at it down here to our left. Uh, excellent student section Greenup County always has. 
great support for the school and uh, the community. This is such a great environment. You know, I love Lloyd. I love the farm. I love Greenham County. Uh, the administrators have done such a great job. The school. Uh, we're missing. Uh, we're, we're missing out on a lot of people to mention, but they do a great job. There we go. Job. Fourth down. High snap. Uh, it is brought in by the uh, punter for Fleming County. He punts the football down. It goes out of bounds at the Greenup County 40. So we have the football on our own 40-yard line uh, I, you know, four, with 45 seconds left in this half. I just wouldn't I wouldn't do anything crazy with a long pass, but, you know, I'm not the coach, so Jones might see something. But uh, – I can see us with the long run here, and that would really uh, um, give give us a good some good momentum going into the second half. And um, that would Aiden really Goo's got a long touchdown reception so far tonight. Uh, Brody Stevens has a long one. Let's look for Drew Boggs on the long touchdown over the middle, Sean. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if Coach Jones is going to go conservative here, or I, I think we have enough time to score a run. We got timeouts. We have the timeouts. Salmon's rolling out to the left side. Mm -hmm. He finds, nope, overthrows Drew Boggs. <laughs> incomplete pass. They'll bring up second down and 10. Only three seconds went off the clock there. 42 seconds remaining in the first half here from Greenup County. We have, how many timeouts do we have? One? The clock shows that we only have one. Oh, okay. uh, the scoreboard shows we only have one. I wasn't sure. Well, maybe we were trying to save time when on the on the uh, Fleming County possession, and let's see if we can do something with it. Tyson Salmon's back to pass. He looks long down the field. It gets tipped back there, and it falls incomplete. Looking for Aiden Goo over the middle. So you're right with two incompletions there. 38 seconds left on the clock. You certainly don't want to give Fleming County. Uh, new life by giving them the ball back here. Uh, yeah, ab absolutely. I mean, we just need to – and, you know, they have three timeouts left. Yeah, Fleming can do something with it if they get it back with three timeouts remaining. 38 seconds, plenty of time for this potent offense of Fleming. Salmon's going to run this one himself. He looks up the middle and uh, finds some yardage out over the 45-yard line to the 46. Five-yard pickup for Tyson Salmon's. And doesn't look like Fleming's going to call timeout, so they may be content to take this one to the locker room. If I'm Greenup County here, I take one heave to the end zone at the end of this uh, half, uh, even if uh, yeah, yeah, Travis like Jones is waiting. He's going to call his final timeout, I believe, and try one more play. Nope, he's yep. going to take it to the locker room. All right, so it's halftime. Greenup County leads this one, 29-20 over Fleming County. We'll be right back with the SOMC Halftime Show. Thank you for joining us here on My Town TV. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family-oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or, you know, several years, and I think you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home, and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. You're wondering why you struggle to concentrate. You don't understand why your mood swings and your energy is down. You're asking yourself why you have feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or even suicidal thoughts. Your mind is screaming, help. Pathways is listening. Call or chat with our crisis helpline now at pathways-ky.org. We're 
back here in Lloyd, Kentucky, home of the Greenup County Musketeers, where we have so enjoyed covering this exciting football team all season long. I'm Ryan Parker here on My Town TV with Sean Boggs. And Sean, uh, this has been an exciting game tonight. Uh, we're finishing off the season and true to form, very exciting. 29 20 Musketeers lead at the half. Yeah, and we really expected this, Ryan, coming into the game. You know, we saw both these teams preseason and they were really well matched. Um, you know, 29 to 20, it's a lot of points in the first half. And we saw a lot of big plays, um, especially from Greenup, a lot of big runs from Fleming County. I think the difference here, it's, uh, it's a game of defenses. So, you know, who's gonna stop who? Because apparently Fleming County's defense can't stop Greenup. We can't we can't stop Fleming, so who's going to flinch first? And Fleming County having deferred, winning the opening coin toss, having deferred, they will be getting the ball first in the second half, so that's a big deal. we got to come out and stop them. Yeah, and, you know, as the games go, as we've seen all season from game one against Colgrove, you know, Colgrove had us down, what, 30, 40 points, and our defense stepped up, stopped them, our offense took over, so our defense is totally capable of, of doing that. They just um, – they need to warm up, and, you know, it looked like, you know, there at the end of the first half, Ryan, I mean, it looked like we were starting to step up and kind of read things, and I know Coach Jones is going to dial up some things and change some things at halftime. Yeah, Tyson Sammons had a six-yard run for a touchdown. Sammons threw to Goo for a 42-yard touchdown. Sammons threw to the other senior receiver, Brody Stevens, for a big 78-yard touchdown. I'd love to see that from Brody Stevens no, me tonight. Me too, me too. What, then, yeah, go ahead. No, and then Ike Henderson took it in from 14 yards out. That was the Greenup County touchdowns in the first half. So let's take another break here on uh, the halftime show, SOMC halftime show. We'll be right back here, uh, 11 minutes until we get this thing underway again. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. For over 60 years, Ashland Office Supply has been your locally owned office supply shop. From office supplies to furniture, they have everything you need to keep your business running smoothly. Shop online at ashlandoffice.com. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux Jewelers, and this uh, school season we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you and any of your gift giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. And we are back here at the farm. This is Sean Boggs alongside Ryan Parker, voice of the Musketeer. And uh, we were enjoying senior night here down at the farm, uh, honoring our awesome band members uh, on their final home game, as, long as, as well as the uh, Greenham County cheerleaders, senior cheerleaders. So uh, special, such a special night down here at the farm. Uh, we, you know, we saw senior night before the game. Um, these kids have put heart and soul into everything they've done, their talents the last four years. 
of their life. And uh, so it's great to see them honored. And also, too, I want to mention to all the parents, grandparents, whoever else, uh, this will be recorded in its entirety and you will not hear me. Um, and so you can see this uh, in its entirety. So you can you can see your your uh, your special kids down there. So this will be on My Town TV. So we're going to take another break and come back uh, here in just a minute. So stay tuned to My Town TV, Greenup County versus Fleming County in a heated pitch battle. Uncle Rick, what are you doing? I'm dreaming. Of what? Fall in the bluegrass, days at the track, Nats on the 50 yard line. Well, you want to be at the 50 instead of on the 50. That could be dangerous. But to complete your day, you can count on Clark's Pump and Shop. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Clean, your 24 7 experts for water and mold. We are back here in Lloyd, Kentucky. As you can see, uh, looking down at the field, uh, it's a senior night. Here at Greenup County, very special night as we say farewell to this year's senior class. Uh, the football team uh, had uh, nine seniors honored tonight before the game. And now the band is having their senior night. And as Sean Boggs told you before the, we went to the last break, this is all going to be available for you on My Town TV's Facebook page. So if you are interested in watching the senior night festivities in their entirety, Please just visit the My Town TV Facebook page where you can see those festivities. Sean, let's take a look at the, some of the statistics in the first half. The Greenup County Musketeers, of course, were led by Tyson Sammons. Five of nine through the air. You know, he had those early incompletions in the first half, but once he got it dialed in, as you would say, he uh, started to really get it dialed in. He went five of nine in the half for 167 yards and two big touchdowns yeah absolutely I mean we we expected that tonight we need to see more of that in the second half and I'm obviously we will um, you know Greenup's offense to me has been stellar tonight I mean they've had few mistakes um, I think the biggest difference in the game you know Fleming standing with us toe-to-toe -to -toe, even though we're still up by nine our our defense needs to find some stops and coming out Fleming County's can get the ball back you know, this would, this would be a great stop. And Ryan, looks like our cheerleaders are out here for senior night. Yeah, the cheerleaders will be out here for senior night, and we will have the cheerleaders senior night as well on the My Town Facebook page. So you'll be able to get on the My Town Facebook page and see the football players senior night, the band members senior night, and the cheerleaders senior night. And I love the band, but I'll tell you what, watching these girls the last two years has just been incredible. We're getting ready to go into our 
uh, our season in cheer. So it starts this Sunday. It's going to go on until uh, we come back from Disney World in February. So, um, you know, you're looking at the world champion Green Up Cheerleaders state champions. So, you know, they won state last year. Um, we're heading that way again. So uh, incredible team. Of course, Candy Berry and her staff can't say enough about the world world winning Green Up Cheerleaders. Uh, and that's been a tradition for a long time. They're quite renowned. Back to the statistics. Uh, as I said, Tyson Sam. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm taking this right back. I changed the subject altogether again. No, I just I, wanted to get through my stats. I worked hard to add these up. Sean. I still had five minutes to talk about the cheerleaders, but go ahead, Ryan. Okay, thank you. Tyson Salmon's five of nine through the air, 167 yards and two touchdowns in the first half. On the ground, Tyson Salmon's nine carries for 68 yards and a touchdown. And Ike Henderson, this is something we don't usually see here. Ike Henderson had more yards in the first half than Tyson Salmon's. Yeah, Ike went for nine carries and 69 yards. One more yard than Tyson, but still more well, yards than Tyson in the first half and a touchdown for Ike Henderson. Well, and he had a reception, too. He did. Yeah. Yes, Ike Henderson had a reception. Yeah. That Speaking was, of receptions, the receiving statistics, Drew Boggs had one for 25 yards. Ike had one for 12 yards. Aiden Goo, one big one for 42 yards and the touchdown. Beautiful catch by Aiden Goo over the middle, as we've seen numerous times this season, his eighth touchdown catch of the year. Yeah, absolutely. And then Brody Stevens had two for 88 yards, including the one big 78-yard touchdown, yeah. which was a humongous play in the first half. Yeah, I love to see our seniors scoring touchdowns. I mean, that's, what you know, what a night for them. What a night for Green. What a night for the farm. You know. The farm, we're having a good time down on the farm tonight, and it looks like a huge crowd here is having a big time as well. We will go to one more break here. There's a couple minutes to go before kickoff. They'll probably add three minutes to the clock, but uh, we'll be right back here on My Town TV. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or you know, several years and I think you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. You're wondering why you struggle to concentrate. You don't understand why your mood swings and your energy is down. You're asking yourself why you have feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or even suicidal thoughts. Your mind is screaming, help. Pathways is listening. Call or chat with our crisis helpline now at pathways-ky.org. back here at Greenup County High School in Lloyd, Kentucky, where the Greenup County Musketeers lead the Fleming County Panthers 29 to 20 at the half. It's been an exciting first half of play as the Musketeers have put on an offensive display second to none as we've come to expect this season from Greenup County. So many exciting games they have provided us this year. It has been an absolute pleasure doing Greenup County football this season. And Travis Jones' inaugural season as head coach of the Musketeers. Looking around the area, seeing some other scores. Uh, just checking them out here for you. 
the Raceland Rams right up the road are getting beaten pretty badly tonight by Lexington Christian. Lexington Christian's up 26 to nothing on Raceland right up the road. And of course the Simon Kent National game. I'll, I'll look forward to watching that one later on on My Town TV as it was already 35-28 in the first half. The Simon Kenton Pioneers are leading the Ashland Tomcats up there at Clark's Pump and Shop Putnam Stadium. That's the two big scores we have for you. And, of course, i tell you another one I'm going to look forward to watching later on on My Town TV is that Pikeville Boyd County game. The Boyd County Lions are hanging with them right now, 15-8. to eight. As My partner, Sean Boggs, has rejoined me. You may hear some spaghetti crunching. As they, they treat us right up here in the Greenup County press box. Yeah, every time we're at the farm run, I mean, they, they, they treat us good. I mean, we don't, we don't go hungry here. I mean, we've been to some other stadiums. This has been kind of, kind of less than stellar. Less than stellar. Yeah. So, you know, here at the farm, you know, you, you don't go home hungry. So that's a great thing. There's nothing like Greenup County. Enjoy that, Sean. I'll, we'll take one more break here. So maybe, do we have a minute break we can take? Let's just take a minute break and be right back for hopefully the kickoff of the third quarter. We'll be right back on My Town TV. Advanta Clean, your 24 7 experts for water and mold. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or you know, several years and I think you, you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently we refinanced our home and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. Guys, for any technical. Okay, we're, we're waiting for the. We are back here at Greenup County. <laughs> Sorry about that. 29-20, um, Greenup County leads Fleming County. At the half, Greenup County going to be kicking off to the Panthers. Going from right to left, Fleming County, of course, in their white uniforms and gray pants, black helmets. Coming at you left to right here on your screen. Gillen puts out a uh, onside kick. It bounces. Greenup County trying to come away with it. And the Musketeers do come away with it. It looks like it's Waylon Perkins who got in there and got the football for Greenup County. Good job by Waylon on the big play to start the second half. Wow, what a play by the Greenup County Musketeers. Greenup County has the football. It's Greenup County's football. Everybody was standing around like there might have been some question about it, but there was no question about it. Big number 61 bobbled the football for Fleming County, and Whalen came up with it. So big time advantage for Greenup County, and their offense has to take advantage of this one here. As Tyson Sam is number five tonight, brings the Musketeers out onto the field. Here we go, Tyson Salmon's in shotgun formation. The ball rests right at midfield. After the successful onside kick, Salmon's gonna carry it out to the right side, bouncing it all the way out to the right, slipping some tacklers. Can't slip all of them though, as he just gets one yard down into Fleming territory at the 49. Hey, Ron, I'm back. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Man, what a, that's exactly what Greenup needed. I mean, that was a great call by Coach Jones, I mean, I think that was planned. They kind of seen something. They caught Fleming sleeping, so now we need to capitalize on that, put our defense and get some distance away from Fleming. No doubt about it. And a great job, tough play there by Waylon Perkins, just putting going in head first to get that ball when it was loose on the ground. Sammons with the football. Or with a, there, now he's with the football. He gives it off to Henderson. He finds some room oh, up the nice middle. Good job, running Mike. by Ike. Ike Henderson, 10 yards right up the gut. Yep, Ike driving it like Ike drives it, so that's perfect. That's exactly what Greenup needs to do and keep it on the ground, keep them guessing. So this is going to be an exciting second half run. No doubt about that. Uh, I can't tell you how happy I, how happy I am to see Ike Henderson having himself a big night on his senior night. 
after he had to miss, uh, you know, four and a half games or so to, to injury in the middle of this season. Here we go. Salmon's back in shotgun formation. Looking. He's scrambling. He can't get away. The flag flies. That's probably going to be holding as big Aiden Johnson brings Tyson down back, back around midfield. Let's see what the official call is from the referee. It is holding on Greenup County. They declined the penalty, so they'll just take the loss. And it was a big loss. It was a 10-yard loss as Salmons got sacked. That sets the Musketeers right back where they started this drive at midfield. Second down and 20 yards to go. Tyson Salmons in shotgun formation. Three receivers to the near side of the field. Salmons going to keep this one. And another flag flies in as they're going to bring Salmons down. Landon Johnson tears him to the ground. Right about the 46-yard line, but we're going to see what this flag's about. It's going to be another hold on Greenup County. Yeah, these are these are kind of self-inflicted wounds, Ryan. I mean, we can't have, so... Um, <clears throat> Definitely the, the fans don't like the call. I'm, I didn't see, I actually didn't see the hold, but uh, looks like they're going to decline it again, so it's going to be a third and 20. Yeah, Tyson Sam has uh, lost 14 yards on the last two carries, 10 yards on the sack, and now four yards on the loss that time, uh, all the way back to their own 46-yard line, and it's third down and 24 yards to go. Third down and to just about the Little Caesars in Greenup, right, Sean? Yeah, pretty Pretty close, either that or the uh, marathon. They set up a screen pass. It is uh, hauled in by Ike Henderson, but uh, he trips down to the ground and picks up only about five yards. Yeah, that's unfortunate, Ryan. We couldn't capitalize on on the turnover. I mean, we just um, – the penalties killed us, obviously. Um, so our defense needs to set in, um, get a get a big stop here. Yeah, it was a great job, great call by Travis Jones. Well executed onside kick, but the Musketeers could not take advantage. And they are in punt formation now. Fourth down to 19 from midfield. Salmon's back to kick the ball. Good snap. Kicks away. Over. Oh, Jordan Harden hauls it in at the 20. He's out to the 30. He's out of bounds right at the 33-yard line. Nice tackle made by R.J. Veach. Getting Jordan Harn to the ground. Yeah, that was a nice tackle by R.J. Glad to see him getting involved there. He's another kid, man. He's one of those unknown, not really unknown person, but, I mean, he's one of those that he can surprise you. So, love to see him get involved more in the game. Yeah, like just doesn't get a lot of, lot of credit that some of the others do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But Unsung he's, heroes. But he's definitely dangerous. So There we go. Fleming County got three receivers split to the far side of the field. Martin going to stand up and throw. That may be backwards. Greenup County picks it up. They're taking off to the end zone. And let's see what the call is. They're saying it's an incomplete pass. Yeah, that, that definitely looked like a live ball. I mean – very close to being a backwards pass that time and uh, eligible to be picked up by the Musketeers, as they did. Very good awareness there by the Greenup County defender, picking yeah. the ball up and taking it into the end zone, but uh, the officials just call it incomplete second down. Yeah, uh, to me, I, <clears throat> Ron, I mean, I've seen that before. It looks like a live ball. but yeah, It looks like this ball is misplaced on the spot here. Uh, and move Fleming back a yard, but uh, they correct it. So the ball is correctly at the 33-yard line again, second down and 10. Harn in motion to the far side of the field. There's a give to Trent up the middle. Tough running. Austin Trent picks up about seven yards. Yeah, Greenham can't have that. I mean, we need to stop that. I talked about that in the first half. and There have been times this game where the Musketeers have appear to have found the key to stop that, but uh, then Trent just breaks another one. He does, and we can't, we, we can't afford to give him short yardage like this. So, you know, here we are, third and three. Um, this is really hard to stop him on short, short yardage tonight. 
It is. There's Trent right up the middle again, and he barrels forward for the first down. Out over the 45 to the 47. When you look at the size of this Fleming County line, one of the bigger lines we've seen this year, to be honest, big number 76, Clayton Waymeyer, junior right tackle there. Enormous line. Yeah, we and we saw them when we had the scrimmage at Boyd County. I mean, they were they were huge. I mean, they they all had beards. They were they were just big. <laughs> they were big guys. I mean, so here we go. There's the snap back to Landon Johnson. Here we go again. Landon Johnson around the left side. They get him down after a five yard pickup into Greenup territory down to the forty eight yard line. Better job on Landon Johnson, but still not exactly the job we want to see. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's been uh, – I mean, both teams have ran the ball really well on the ground, and um, it's just really hard – it's really hard to stop. But, you know, Greenup just needs to find a way to stop it, get a turnover, something, but they need the ball back. Here we go. Johnson again. There's a fumble up the middle. Let's see if the Musketeers can pounce on it. They do pounce on it, Sean. It's Greenup County's ball. R.J. Veach came up with it. There you go. Good job by the Greenup County Musketeers. I was just talking about R.J. Veach. A critical turnover at this point in the game. Absolutely. Like I said, R.J. Veach, he's dangerous. And here he is. So One of the unsung heroes, as you said. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's great to see our seniors. (laughs) I mean, they're having a heck of a night. And... So good, good for R.J., and that's exactly what we needed. And, of course, if there's a player down, I'm not sure who's down. There is a Fleming County player down on the field, so it looks like they're going to tend to him for a moment. We will take a break. 728 remaining here in the third quarter on My Town TV. six years they're very family oriented um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly they talk to you you know they know you by name you know you may not go in there for a day or you know several years and I think you, you go in there and you still feel like family recently we refinanced our home and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there this is my people huge turnover Recovered by R.J. Veach. Greenup County has the football at the 45, first and 10. Let's try it again. Tyson Samus finds some room this time. Out to midfield. Tyson cuts it down the sidelines. He is almost horse collar tackled, yeah. but he's brought down out of bounds. Oh, Maybe there he was. Is. There comes a flag. Thank you, sir. That was a good call by the referee. I mean, he definitely got horse collared, Ryan. I mean, he he was drugged down from behind, and uh, good, good call by the referee, and that's going to bode well for Greenup. Sammons with a pickup of about 17 yards. It looks like, uh, well, no, make it more than that. That was a 21-yard pickup by Tyson Sammons, and then they'll tack on 15 from there. It'll mark off the 15 yards, and that's big for the Greenup County Musketeers. Is Now they're right back where they started this half, kind of. You know, still up nine, have the football. Let's see if they can punch one in. Yeah, yeah, the Greenham's in a really good position right now. Um, Just don't want any mistakes, nothing stupid. Just keep everything clean like we kept the whole game, and uh, we're going to be fine. Ball rest at the 19-yard line. Tyson Sammons in shotgun formation. He gives this one to Ike Henderson. Henderson being very slippery up the middle. And he gets some good yardage wow. down inside the 10-yard line. Good run by Ike Henderson. Ike, my man Ike. Ike the tank. He just keeps going, and he's just so hard to bring down. And he Henderson makes – go ahead, I'm sorry. Phenomenal vision. I mean, yeah, phenomenal vision He, he does, Henderson. he does. Whatever he sees when he gets the ball, um, I'd, I'd love to have like a, a camera and see that because he can make a lot of things happen quick. Here we go, Tyson Sammons in shotgun formation again. He's going to keep this one up the middle himself, looking for room. He's down to the five-yard line. Solid run by Tyson Sammons to pick up the first down. That'll set Greenup County up with first and goal from the five-yard line. The ball rests right on the five. So 
Ammons going to line up in shotgun formation with Henderson in the backfield. And once again, I'm just reminded how good it is to have Ike Henderson back. Man, the Musketeers missed him. Oh, yeah, we missed There's him. There's a snap. Salmon's going to take this one and ball up the middle. Is he going to make it? Nope, not quite there. Down to about the one-yard line. Yeah, he's really close. Nope, they're going to mark it at about the three. No, 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 I guess they're going to mark it back at about the four-yard line. I thought he had some forward progress going there. Uh, I did, too. So we'll give him two yards on the play from the three-yard line. Greenup County going to their single file formation here. 544 and counting in the third quarter. The Musketeers need to punch one in to create some separation between themselves and the Fleming County Panthers on this senior night. Tyson Sammons takes it to the left side. Did he find the hole this time? Yeah, it looks like he's in. There's the signal. Touchdown, <laughs> Sammons. Tyson Sammons takes this one in from three yards out for the touchdown. And Greenup County is up 35 to 20 in this one. Converting off the turnover. The fumble by Austin Trent. Picked what? up by RJ Veach. Yeah, I love to hear that cannon going off. I mean, down here at the farm. So, hope we run, run out of ammo tonight. And uh, that was a heck, heck of a score by Ty. And just drove that in. That was much needed stop. That's exactly what we needed to start the second half. It looks like we're going for two, Ron. Go for two. Sammons tries to take this one to the left. He finds it. He gets into the end zone. A little extra twist around by Landon Johnson. Doesn't matter. Two-point conversion. 37-20. The Greenup County Musketeers lead this one with 5.28 left in the third quarter. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. Advantage Clean, your 24 7 experts for water and mold. We're back here. At Greenup County High School, where Greenup County has just taken a 37-20 lead over a... Let's make no mistake about it, Sean. This is a tough Fleming County Panthers team. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they're... they're uh, you know, we knew this was going to be a fist fight. We knew it was going to be a uh, dog fight, musketeer fight, whatever. is is going <laughs> to be... We knew it was going to be tough. Here's Landon Johnson. He has an opportunity from the his own 13-yard line. Oh, oh yeah. he's stuck, and he's brought down. Wow. About the 19-yard line. I'll tell you. Was that Austin Walker? It looked like Austin Walker from here, Sean. It was, number 45, Austin Walker. Austin Walker. <clears throat> what a game he's having, too. I mean, our special teams, our kickoff, I mean, they've done a fabulous job stopping. I mean, because Fleming County, I mean, they're, they have some speedsters out there. I mean, they can get loose quick, especially Landon Johnson. We've seen him. Um, the good job, Austin Walker. And yeah, it's a very dangerous Fleming County team. They have, uh, of course, Landon Johnson who can take it to the house on any given play. Austin Trent has shown the ability to do so as well. But they're in a hole right now, 37-20. There's a give up the middle. Trent around the left side finds some room out over the 40 to the 41. Yeah, that was a nice pickup, and Greenham can't afford to have that. They, they cannot give them 15, 20 yards of carry. But we saw that against Johnson Central. It just doesn't work. So, Good run over there on the far side by Austin Trent. He comes out of the game for this play. They bring in big number 33, Aiden Johnson. As the back behind Martin, there's a give to Johnson up the middle. He is tough to bring down. Ooh, he got popped. He did get popped, and he kept going and got extra yardage even after that pop. Yeah. Yeah, Fleming has a really strong – have a really strong running game, obviously. But, uh, yeah, they, they, they can take a hit, I mean, for sure. 
Yeah, really the turnovers have foiled them here in this ball game so far. Nate Martin back at uh, quarterback. Uh, Harn in motion. There's a big or give to the big Aiden Johnson again. He's carrying Greenup County tacklers. It takes about half the team to get Aiden Johnson down. They do get him down finally. But not before he gets a first down into Greenup territory right at the 46-yard line. And let us not forget, Sean, I believe you did this game last year. Greenup County had a big lead on Fleming County last season, and uh, Fleming County came back. It wound up being a 34-33 game. Yeah, yeah. It was actually the first game of the season. It was out at uh, um, KCU Stadium. And uh, – there's a pitch out to Harn. Harn looking for room around the left side. He finds some room, picks up about nine or ten yards. Good gain for Fleming County. Yeah, actually that game, Ron, I was a fan. I was in the stands. It was it was the next game, and I, was, I started I, – I joined the Montown team, so that was pretty exciting. So I, I seen enough. I was like, I, I got to be with these guys. They must have heard your voice in the stands and just pulled you straight from the it, seats it was into a, the booth. I thought, I want to be with some winners, and there they are, and I'm going to go be with those guys. No doubt about it. Here comes uh, Austin Trent, a big run up the middle again for Fleming County, down inside the 20 to the 19. Fleming County hard charging on this drive, determined to get back in this game. Yeah, I think uh, Fleming County is being really deliberate with their offense right now. They they know they need a score. You know, time's kind of running out on them. we got 352, 351 counting in the third, and they need a score right here if they're going to stay in this game. Martin, that quarterback, Johnson behind him, Aiden Johnson. They give it to Johnson, and about half the Greenup County team Ooh. wraps him up and finally gets the big Aiden Johnson down to the ground. Johnson, just a junior for this Fleming County team, so he'll be back next year, probably be one of the primary weapons next year, along with Jordan Harn, also a junior. Yeah, we will definitely uh, be calling this game at Fleming. So we'll Hopefully we'll be here with you on My Town Radio next year on this game. Here's a Martin, a flag flies. Martin puts it up for grabs, and the uh, ball drops in complete. Now on the left sideline, we'll have to see what the flag is about. Likely a holding call, and it is on Fleming County, so that'll back them up. Likely, yeah, Greenup County is going to take the penalty. Yeah, that was a that was a timely flag for Greenup County. We really needed that. I mean, the momentum was just definitely shifting towards Fleming, so uh, hopefully that'll stop that, and hopefully Greenup can dial up something to stop this train because right now the train's moving. Braddock McCracken checks into the game for the Musketeers to solidify the interior of that line. Uh, I like that idea. Release the Kraken. Yes. Release the McCracken. <laughs> Release the McCracken. <laughs> Let's see what he can do. We need something big right here. We need to stop this momentum. Fleming County brings in Landon Johnson at quarterback. This is always dangerous. Johnson gives it to Trent going the other way. Nice play by Fleming County. And, and, well, that's that's Harn actually going the other way, and Harn is all the way into the end zone, it looks like, from here. Let's see what the signal is. Uh, it's a touchdown, yeah. Jordan Harn made it all the way. Landon Johnson comes into the game, and you have to key on him so much. They got Landon or uh, Jordan Harn going back the opposite direction and uh, scored the touchdown on the Musketeers. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, they're, they're, Fleming County is just a dangerous team. I mean, you know, they have a lot of weapons, just like Greenup has a lot of weapons. So it's going to come down to defense tonight. Yeah, this Fleming County team, uh, they, you know, they do shoot themselves in the foot sometimes, but this is a dangerous team for anybody in the Class 3A playoffs this year. You know, they're going to go down to Lloyd Memorial next week, and they have a real opportunity to come away with a win and earn themselves a rematch with the East Carter Raiders out at Grayson the following week. They're going to go for two at this point. Landon Johnson is your quarterback. Austin Trent's right beside him. Johnson going to try to power this one up through the middle, and he does make it into the end zone for the two-point conversion. So with 2.30 remaining in the third quarter, we have ourselves a football game. Greenup County 37, Fleming County 28. We'll be right back here on My Town TV.
Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining here in the third quarter from the farm in Greenup County where the Greenup County Musketeers lead the Fleming County Panthers 37-28. Parker Sills is getting ready to kick the football off for Fleming County. Back deep for Greenup should be Drew Boggs, I would imagine, and Brody Stevens is who it has been. The kick goes far out of bounds. We'll see if Greenup County will choose to take it on the 35 once more. Uh, yeah, I would definitely take it on the 35 because I really expected Fleming County to maybe do like something, like maybe a trick play here, you know, do an <clears throat> onside kick, something like that, or a swift kick to try to get the ball back quick. And Well, this time the Musketeers are going to make Fleming County kick the football off again. Yeah, I would definitely honor that middle. So... So they move the football back five yards, and Parker Sills will try it again. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Parker Sills is another all 16th region soccer player this season, just like our kicker, Carter Gillum. Yeah, I believe so. I mean, he's an excellent kicker, and we just need to watch him right here. Sills puts this one in the air, and it's going to head out of bounds as well. I say you take it again here if you're Travis Jones. Yeah, maybe back him up another five yards, and he tends to kick to the right. See what Travis is going to do, Coach Jones is going to do here. Fleming County must – they're really respecting the return game of the Greenup County Musketeers. Well, I'll tell you, I mean, we have some speedsters back there. I mean, if you get Drew Boggs loose, some of the others, I mean, they can – oh, yeah, it looks like we're going to make them re-kick again. So Fleming County, this could be some critical errors for them on special teams at this point of the game. Down nine, down nine, just having scored the touchdown, they kicked the ball out of bounds two times in a row. Not sure what they're doing in the middle of the field there. Huddling together. Greenup County has a... I see Tyson Law up on the front line with Waylon Perkins. It's like either Colin Melvin or Austin Walker there in the middle. Maybe Melvin. Sills going to try it for a third time. Will the third time be the charm? He puts it on the ground. Drew Boggs gets it. Here goes Here go. Boggs up the far sideline. Here we go. And nice he hurdles over a man doing what he does best on the track. And uh, gets the ball out over the 45 to the 46. Yeah, that was, that was a smart play by – or. Great play by Drew Boggs, but also, too, I mean, Coach Jones, that was good to make him re-kick it because, I mean, we would have had the ball in the 35. Now we're close to midfield, so we got really good field position. Yeah, Greenup County will start this one on the 46-yard line. we got 2.24 left in the third, Ryan. We need a score here. We're up 37-28. Got to keep scoring because this Fleming County offense is potent. It's, yes. Very potent. Two receivers split to the near side of the field. Tyson Sammons going to give this one off to Ike Henderson. And Henderson gets stopped in the backfield this time. And a flag comes in as a little extra business was given in the backfield. We'll see who this is on. Looks like it was on maybe number 31. Official coming our way here. Calls the personal foul against Fleming County. Man, they have hurt themselves with penalties and turnovers tonight. Yeah. I'm not sure what happened. But... Looked like Ike Henderson was refusing to go down. The whistle blew, and they were determined to get him down. So a penalty on Fleming County and uh, yeah, a loss turns into a huge gain. So that's good, good, good for Greenham County. Here we go, Salmons with the football back to pass and whoa, the rush is on him before he could even turn around as he was sacked by number ten, the leading tackler for this Fleming County defense, 
Isaac Fry, senior. Tyson didn't have time to survey the field that time. No. Yeah, our offensive line, they need to they need to stay vigilant. You know, they've done a great job all night long giving Tyson and Ike and the rest of them time to do what they need to do. And uh, looks like Fleming County is starting to read on some things. Yeah, second time Sammons has been sacked tonight. First time was the first drive of the second half where he was dropped for a loss of 10. That time dropped for a loss of 8. Sam is going to run this one to the right side. He has some room up the middle of the 40, the 30. Sam is running on the outside to the 20. He may go all the way. Tyson Sammons is in for the He's touchdown. Dead. Wow, 48 yards wow. in for the touchdown. Tyson Sammons. Wow, Ryan. I mean, that fast. One play. I mean, that's all it takes. That is the way you answer uh, the loss for eight yards. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the sack for eight yard loss. Let's run it 48 for the touchdown. Yeah, he was he was off to the races on the on the far sideline. Nobody was going to bring him down. He ran with some authority that time. Tyson <laughs> Sammons. He's carried the two touchdowns <laughs> in in the second half. 43-28. They're going to for two. Sammons gets the football again. Takes it to the left side. He is in for the two-point conversion. Oh, wow. That's huge. Greenup County, 45. Fleming County, 28. 115 left in the third quarter. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. You're wondering why you struggle to concentrate. You don't understand why your mood swings and your energy is down. You're asking yourself why you have feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or even suicidal thoughts. Your mind is screaming, help. Pathways is listening. Call or chat with our crisis helpline now at pathways-ky.org. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollock's Jewelers. In this uh, school season, we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift-giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. We're back here at the farm in Greenup County, Kentucky, where we're having a good time tonight. An offensive explosion of sorts. 45 to 28, the Greenup County Musketeers lead the Fleming County Panthers. Yeah, it's been, uh, I mean, it's been a uh, air show run. I mean, you know, it's, it's just been a, uh, maybe not an air show, but it's just been a scoring spectacular on both sides. But fortunately, you know, um, Greenup had a couple good turnovers. Uh, you know, taken away from Fleming County and was able to capitalize on that. So, you know, we just need to keep the foot on the gas and uh, keep the momentum going. Well, let's you know, get a stop here. You know, this being the last home game at the farm, I hope the Greenup County juniors and underclassmen take this to heart and look at the opportunity they have next year. Well, as Greenup County, Carter Gillum puts this one out of bounds. We'll see what Fleming decides to do. But as I was saying, I hope these juniors and uh, sophomores to be and even the oncoming eighth grade class from next year take this to heart. The opportunity they have next year, you know, work hard in the weight room in the offseason, come back next year, and, uh, I mean, you got Tyson Sammons at quarterback. you got a chance in any game. Yeah, and, and you know, we, we're going to lose some really, really great young men, really, really great seniors. Uh, but, you know, we have a lot of juniors out there. So yeah. we, we have a fairly young team as well. So, um, you know, um, I'm excited to see what we're going to have next year. I mean, I'm really excited. Yeah, this year is obviously not over. You know, we're loving what we're watching here tonight, watching from these seniors, and really look forward to heading down to Covington next week and trying to trying our hand in the David versus Goliath battle, you know, kind of Covington Catholic when you're facing the number one RPI team. You know, that's got to be considered a Goliath. That is, yeah, that's a Goliath. But, you know, Greenup, I mean, I'm not counting them out. You just never know. No way. Here we go, Landon Johnson back at quarterback for Fleming County. He takes off to the left side. They call a hold in the backfield, so it doesn't matter really what happens downfield here as Austin Walker was held. Looks like our Fleming County players shook up a little bit. He's up. That's good. Hold and call in the backfield, so that will back Fleming <laughs> County up 10 yards. Yeah, Green, they have to have a stop. You know, they have to figure out a way to stop this offense and this train, I call it. Of Fleming hmm. County because they hate to see Walker coming off. He's coming off a little lame. He, he made it all the way off the field. He's a tough player. We love watching Austin play as he just stomps his foot in the ground trying to get that thing fixed <laughs> up. 
<laughs> that's the way to fix it. I tell you, I like that guy. He's going to be tremendous next year. Yep, that's why you do it he's on the farm. He's good this year. What am What am I saying? Yeah, that's that's why you do it on the farm. Just stomp it in the dirt, move on. That's exactly what Austin that's, Walker did. That's how we roll. He's ready to go back in. Here we go. Uh, first down and 20 yards to go from the 25-yard line. There's a back to Landon Johnson again. Fleming's making it really simple now. They're going to Landon Johnson. They're going where their bread is buttered. Yeah, they're just going to – of course, that kind of bodes well for Greenup. You know, if they keep it on the ground, that just keeps the clock moving. But, um, you know, the big thing, get, get some big stops here, burn some clock. Quite a game going on up at uh, Clark's Pump and Shop Putnam Stadium. 42-42 now in the second half in that oh, one. Oh, wow. How much time's left, right? Or did they even say? I wish I could tell you that, Sean. I know. <laughs> we need some kind of ticker app. Here we go. Uh, I'm sure my town will give that to us. Here we go. Landon Johnson. He's dropped in the backfield oh, this nice. time. Good oh. job by the Musketeer defense. I'm going to bring up a third down and third down and about 12 yards to go. Right, it looks like there's about 625 left at Putnam Stadium. Oh, awesome game. Can't wait to look at that one later on my town. And that'll bring us to the end of the third quarter here. Greenup County leads this one right here at the farm, 45 to 28, as we are headed into the final fourth quarter of the season here on my town TV. We'll be right back. Advantage Clean, your 24-7 experts for water and mold. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or you know, several years and I think you, you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently we refinanced our home and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. We are back here in Lloyd at the farm where the fans are having a good time. Greenup County, all of Greenup County seems to be here in the stands. And the base, the base is stumping. Everybody's jumping around here, Ryan. It's crazy. Jump around indeed as the Musketeers lead by 17 going into the final fourth quarter of the season in the final fourth quarter for these seniors on this beautiful, beautiful turf here at Greenup County High School. Yeah, the stadium looks excellent down here at the farm. It does, and I, like I said, I give much credit to, uh, I, I actually talked to Tyson's dad before the game. He told me they have a machine that actually does this striping on the field, and the, the machine does an excellent job. Wow, wow. Yeah, it looks beautiful tonight. Here we go, Fleming County with the football. Starting the fourth quarter. Landon Johnson again, going to just try to take it all the way himself, and he may do so. Landon Johnson turns on the Jets down the sideline. They aren't going to get him. He goes all the way for the Fleming County touchdown. My goodness, that guy keeps you in the game all the time. He does. He does. Once he gets going, I mean, it's almost like he's five, ten yards ahead of every runner. I mean, it's like a uh, – if you don't get the gap stop there in the backfield, <laughs> if you don't slow him yeah. up, then then you almost better forget about it. Yeah, yeah, because once he gets gone, he's gone. So Great play again by the senior Landon Johnson. He's not willing to turn yeah. in on his last uh, game as a senior, last regular season game. Yeah, yeah, and, and Greenups has had a hard time the whole night trying to stop that. I mean, it's just been a, been a barrage of, uh, of runs from Fleming County. They're a really talented running team. That puts our score at 45-34. They go for two. The ball's dropped. It's kicked forward, and it's not going to be successful. So, 11.48 left here in the final quarter. It's Greenup County 45, Fleming County 34. We'll be right back on My Town TV. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student-athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program, with walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. 
our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. We're back here at the farm in Lloyd where Fleming County has struck like lightning once again. Greenwood County leading this one 45-34. We were, we were getting ready to celebrate and jump around, Sean. Yeah, but, we, uh, we actually were. And then uh, Landon Johnson took it for about 60 or 70 yards. Uh, like I said, it's like, uh, it reminds me of Rocky Three. I mean, it's like Mr. T and Rocky just trading blows here. So. One side kick. This is important. It kicks high into the air. Beautiful job by Parker Sills. On the onside kick, I believe that we came up with it. It's over there on the far, far side of the field, and it is Greenup County's football. Yeah, we have a lot of um, specialized players out there. You know, you have Waylon out there and some others and Austin Walker. So, uh, yeah, they handled, they handled that really well. So the Greenup County offense will take the field. From their own 41-yard line this time. This game has been full of plenty of big plays for both sides. It's it's been an offensive uh, show for sure. So I would expect to see some of these on the Monday moves from this week. There's a give up the middle. Ike Henderson going to take it around the side. He finds some room. He stands up. Beautiful run by Ike Henderson. He is performing his best here on his senior night. <laughs> yeah, I can't say I mean, can't say enough about Ike. I mean, he's just a really hard runner, really talented athlete, and uh, Lord knows we missed him when he was gone, and he's making up for it the last two games. Wayland Perkins pretty much filled in admirably for Ike Henderson. But, and, you know, and Austin Walker and as Austin well. Austin Walker as yeah, well, Austin. yeah, but, but seeing Henderson in action, uh, I'm glad we have him back. There's a give to Ike again. He finds more room. Ike uh, finds a way to get down to the 30-yard line. Beautiful run again by Ike Henderson. Yeah, I, I love his spin move. I mean, he can he can make uh, – he, he makes it look easy, but I'm sure it's not. So – Good job by the Musketeer line here. Got to give them credit. It's about time to give them credit. Looks like Christian Wheeler over here on the right side of the line performing admirably tonight. Colin Melvin over on the left end. There's another give to Henderson up the middle. He gets popped. He hangs on to the ball. Good job by Ike hanging on that time. He took a hard lick. Yeah, it looks like number 31. He came up there. I don't have his number. <clears throat> Jonathan Hickerson, a sophomore. Yeah, that was, a, that was a really good stop by Hickerson. Ten thirteen and counting in this football game. Greenwich County leads 45-34. to The ball is at the 28-yard line. Sammons gets the snap. It's a give to Henderson again. This time Austin Trent and Jonathan Hickerson get Henderson to the ground with no gain. Henderson's fourth carry in a row. Number nine, Henderson once again for the number two on the carry. Trent and Henderson on the tackle for the Panthers. Brings up a third and seven for Greenham. Yeah, Greenham's definitely in four down territory here, but we don't want to get into a situation like that where we have to kick it away or turn it over on down, so. Here we go. Salmon's going to take the carry this time up the middle. Salmon's running strong, carrying tacklers. And these are serious tacklers he's carrying yeah. from Fleming County. He carries them down inside the 20-yard line to the 19. And it's a first down, Greenup County. Wow, that was a great run by Ty. I mean, that was a bulldog run. That's exactly what we needed because we definitely didn't want to get into a four-down situation here where we can turn it over on downs. We just need to keep, keep the clock moving, and we need to score. Three receivers split to the near side of the field. They're the three we've become familiar with. Goose, Stevens, and Boggs. It's a give to Henderson up the middle for about three yards once again. 
as the clock keeps rolling. Yeah, we really need a methodical offensive drive from Greenup, keeping the ball on the ground, picking up the first downs, moving the sticks, eating the clock, because we know Fleming can come back with a score in a matter of a second. So. Tell you what, lots of excitement going on across the whole area tonight. I just got another message here. Ashland got a pick six. Late in that game from Braxton Jennings. Went up 49-42 now. Nice. Right here, we're trying to grind things out. No gain on the left side that time for Tyson. I believe it was Tyson on the carry. Yeah, it's hard to see. It's hard to see with the black jerseys with the green numbers. They really kind of they're camouflaged in the field. So. <laughs> it is very camo, yeah. Third down and seven yards to go. The kind of a We're in two-down territory here, no doubt about that, for the ball rest on the 16-yard line. As we are taking this play clock right down to the penultimate moment here. Five seconds left on it. Salmons. Well, they're going to go ahead and take a timeout. So we'll take a timeout with them here on My Town TV's Greenup County Leeds Fleming, 45-34. We'll be right back. For over 60 years, Ashland Office Supply has been your locally owned office supply shop. From office supplies to furniture, they have everything you need to keep your business running smoothly. Shop online at ashlandoffice.com. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines, such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. We're back here at Greenup County High School. You're looking at the farm in Lloyd, Kentucky where the Greenup County Musketeers lead the Fleming County Panthers by a score of 45 to 34. They have the football at the Fleming 16 yard line. It's third down and seven yards to go. Yeah, we're definitely in four down territory, Ryan. So we need a good pickup here or first down, but I love how we're keeping the uh, clock moving. And uh, we're down to 736, so that's good. Here we go, Salmon's in shotgun formation. Back to pass. Looking over the middle, he has his man, Ingu! Touchdown, Greenup! Wow. I don't think Fleming was expecting that. I think they were No, definitely... sir, yes. Aiden think... Goo catches the 16-yard touchdown pass. I, I, I wasn't expecting that either. I mean, that was a really good good call by Coach Jones. Uh, excellent throw by Ty. And our man, Aiden Goo, senior night, two touchdowns. Wow. I tell you, Travis Jones ought to bring every one of these seniors up here in the booth tonight to talk uh, to him after the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I would definitely love that. They all deserve it. What a performance on senior night. Absolutely. And Greenup County going to bring another senior, Carter Gilliam, in to try the extra point. He gets it up and through the uprights. 7.31 left in this ball game. Greenup County leads 52-34 to over Fleming. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Uncle, Uncle Rick, what, what are, are you doing? doing? I'm dreaming. Of what? Fall on the bluegrass, days at the track, Nats on the 50-yard line. Well, you want to be at the 50 instead of on the 50. That could be dangerous. But to complete your day, you can count on Clark's Pump and Shop. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Advanta Clean, your 24-7 experts for water and mold. We're back here in Lloyd, Kentucky. Greenup County has just taken a 52-34 lead on a 16-yard touchdown pass from Mr. Tyson Sammons to Aiden Goo, of course. Who else? Aiden Goo. Aiden Goo, senior night, two touchdowns. Gillum puts it in the air. Landon Johnson going to have another chance. What an athlete Landon Johnson is. 
He tears away from one tackle and makes it out over the 35-yard line to the 36 as the Musketeers manage to get him down. Yeah, I, I would love to see Greenup get like a well, – of course, I'd love to see him get a defensive stop. It's, it's been really tough against this talented Fleming County team. But get a turnover, eat some clock, it's take it to the, the house. Yeah, it's getting to the point of the game, 7.23 remaining. We've seen Fleming County keep the ball on the ground the entire time. It, it could be time to go to the air. Yeah, I, I, you know, I mean, it, from what we've seen, I mean, we've already had one interception tonight, so that might bode well for Greenham's defense to have them put it up in the air and kind of make some mistakes that way. They do bring Johnson split out to the near side. Martin at quarterback, Harn in motion. Martin looking things over, looking to the sideline. Johnson backs off the line of scrimmage. Now Johnson will go in motion to the far side of the field. This is likely going to be a pass to Landon Johnson as they are positioning him where they want on the field here to get the matchup they want with Landon Johnson. But nope, I'm dead wrong. It's going to be a run right up the middle of Austin Trent. But hey, we'll take that, a one-yard McCarry up the middle. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Greenup read that really well. Good job for the interior of the Greenup County defensive line. We'll take that all night. But but you're right, Ryan. You know, we're going to see it in the air. And Johnson's definitely the right person to send it to. Second down. It was a gain of three yards. Second down and seven yards to go. He's trying out my credentials as a future defensive coordinator <laughs> here, Sean. Didn't look too good. Uh, well, now this time, they're back to pass. So oh, the rush is being oh, put oh. on. Nate Martin scrambling away. He's just going to scramble out of bounds. Looks like a loss of one. Wow. Yeah, Fleming was really fortunate to get away without a hold there. So that was uh, there was a lot of time back there for him to scramble around. But Greenup almost got to him. So. So yeah, the pass rush is going to be paramount here, as I was. I would imagine they've got to start putting the ball in the air with 6.39 left and down by 18. Yeah, third and this is this is a big third and seven for Fleming. I mean, they're they're deep. They're not really deep in their territory, but they're definitely in their territory, and it's hard to get a. It's definitely going to be a four down thing from here on out. Martin back to pass. He's being surrounded. He's tripped to the ground and sacked. Oh wow. Good job by the Greenup County defense. I was trying my absolute best to see if I could catch that number. Case French got him. Wow. Good job by Case French. If I'm not mistaken, Case French had a sack last week against Rowland County as well. Yeah, I believe so. So He's becoming our sackmeister. Yes, we need that, especially tonight. Yeah, big play by Case French, getting the shoelaces of Nate Martin that time getting him to the ground and creating a big fourth down and about 15 yards to go, it looks like. We'll just stay right here as the timeout was called. So, Greenup County leads this one 52 to 34. Yeah, this is this is a big play for Fleming right here. And if Greenup gets a big stop and we can just keep it on the ground, eat some clock, and uh, we'll go eat that baked spaghetti, Ryan, that the boosters gracious, graciously made for us. No, you're going to have some more? I'm going to have some more because it was absolutely great. That's good. I don't know who made it, but hey, I mean, they, they won the ball game for me. Yes. <laughs> it's been a good time here at Greenup all season long. I'm sad to see that this is the last game at the farm this year. Absolutely. Me too. Lord, Lord Willen will be back next year. We certainly hope so as this Greenup County team has the potential to be something special next season. Here we go, Fleming County going to go for it. Fourth down and 15. Balls on their own 32-yard line. Three receivers split to the near side of the field. Landon Johnson to the far side. Martin back to pass. The pass rush is on. He heaves this one up. It falls incomplete. It's going to be Musketeer football. And the Greenup County defense is held when it was time to hold. Wow, they really did. That's exactly what we needed. I mean, all night, you know, they've been fighting hard out there and I mean, against a, a really, really fast, really talented Fleming offense, and man, that was timely run. Big time job by the Greenup County defense there. 52-34, 6.21 left in this one. We have the football on the 32-yard line. Yeah, 6.21 left. I mean, you know, I, I would just, I'd keep the sticks moving, but I would just 
Burn, burn, burn. Burn that time. No doubt about it. Tyson Sammons brings the offense back onto the field. R.J. Veach going to be in the backfield with Tyson this time. So senior R.J. Veach is back with him. Stevens and Goose split out to the near side of the field. They look like they're on islands out here. There's a flag flies. It's going to be a false start, I suppose, on Greenup County. Yeah, it looks like we moved a little. And it is. Penalty on the Musketeers. That'll back us up to the 38-yard line. The ball was on the 33. That'll move us back to the 30. Well, make it 7, 37-yard line. Minus 5 yards on the penalty. We'll try it again. I tell you, man, this crowd is electric tonight, Ryan. Yeah, a lot of excitement. They're seeing this through all the way. The Musketeer season at home this year. We've had a great home season this year. Uh, Sammons gives the ball off to Veach. Veach looking for room up the middle. Veach finding some room. RJ Veach is going to take it to the house. Are you kidding me? He's all the way down. Oh, oh, they caught him at the one-yard line. Oh, I wanted RJ to take that one all the way in. Man, what a senior display tonight. We have seen quite a senior display. Yeah, big-time run from RJ Veach. From the 30, let's see, that was a 36-yard run by R.J. V. This, this crowd is going crazy, man. I, sorry, Ron, I could barely hear you from the. <laughs> R.J. Veach, big-time run. That gets us all the way down to the one-yard line, and uh, Tyson Sam is going to give it to Veach. He'll take it in. Yeah, he earned the touchdown. Yes. He earned that touchdown. He got paid. He did. He got paid. It was payday for R.J. V. Wow. Oh, my word, man. Yeah, these seniors definitely saving their best for last this season. Putting up some points on the scoreboard like a, a, a slot machine right now. Absolutely. 58-34. I'd, I'd probably go for two here and just make it an even 60. I mean. They're going to go ahead and go for one here. Oh. Carter Gillum in the game. <laughs> well, Carter Gillum, senior too. He's a senior as well. Yeah, we got we to gotta give him his. Dylan puts it up and through the uprights. 59 to 34. Not much time gone off the clock. 557 left in this one. Let's just stay right here this time, guys. Yeah. We've, we've taken a lot of breaks. A lot of scores have happened so far in this game. Sean, what a night. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better senior night for these seniors. It, this has just been, I mean, this has been spectacular. You cannot ask for more than that. I mean, so many senior nights where they don't, you know, get the score or, or anything, or they just, you know, it's just kind of a, a flat type of thing. But, man, we've seen all of them almost. I mean, I don't know who's left. We, I don't know if we have uh, – I'm trying to think who else. We can change their numbers and let them run the ball. Now we've seen Henderson do well. We've seen Brody Stevens get a 78-yard touchdown. We've seen Carter Gillen make his extra points. Aiden Goo, of course, interception and touchdown catches. R.J. Veach now has a touchdown. Yep. I mean, uh, we got Elijah Smith, the center, on the line. Uh, well, this is we change could... his number. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just, we'll Ethan just... Thomas as well, lineman. Yeah, we just need to change it. You know, just change their numbers and give them the ball. Let's let them score. Get them in the stat line. <laughs> Here we go. There's the kickoff. It goes over the head of Landon Johnson. He's going to pick it up. This can be dangerous. Landon Johnson looking for room. Close the lanes. He guys. has some room. Close Here goes Landon lanes. Johnson down the far sideline. He's turning on the Jets. And he certainly has the Jets. Oh. He's pushed out of bounds before he takes it all the way to the house. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 13-yard line. So. Yeah, we really need to close those lanes. I mean, when he gets a lane, I mean, he's gone. I mean, he's, just, he's a fast kid, talented athlete. I mean, I'm just glad we were able to push him out of bounds because I'm not sure who did that, who caught up with him, but. That was spectacular. Yeah, good job by the Musketeer special teams after giving up the, <laughs> yeah. you know, 80-plus yard return from uh, Landon Johnson. Here we go. The Fleming offense will come back onto the field. Yeah, there's still a lot of time left in this game, Ryan. I mean. Stranger things have happened. Yeah. 59-34, Greenup County on top. Martin in at quarterback for Fleming. He's going to give it to Trent. They're keeping it on the ground right now. Trent going to scramble for about uh, 
four or five yards over the right side of the line. Yeah, I'm surprised there's not more urgency with Fleming County right now. I mean, they're going to run it down to under five. Second down and about six yards to go, gain of four. They're still in the huddle. So. Fleming must not have a lot of confidence in their passing game, it doesn't look like. Yeah, or just have a sense of urgency to get to the line. I mean, you know, I mean, they definitely have the running game. They but certainly do. They can they can quick strike uh, very well as they give it to Trent again up the middle as he's tackled and brought down. Uh, that'll bring up third down. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, there's just no sense of urgency. They're still in the huddle. And time's ticking off. They'll be close to under four when they get the ball off. Third down and about four yards to go. You're right, the play clock running down now. Looks like they're going to be content to get this game over with. There's a run up the middle by Martin this time. Uh, he's bottled up short of the first down. Yeah, there's... Yeah, they were really late on that whistle. He was completely stopped. Yeah, that's going to put them. Yeah, again, there's just no urgency. I mean, as, as good as Fleming County's offense is, I'm not sure why they're not. Brings up fourth down and three. Greenup County leading 59-34 on what has been a spectacular senior night for these Greenup County Musketeer seniors. Well, being close to the Halloween, this would definitely put the nail in the coffin if they get a stop right here. Um, no doubt about it. Six seconds on the play clock. Here's Landon Johnson. He takes it up the middle. Uh, trying to power through the middle. He may it. have been stopped. Yeah, I don't think he got he it. He may have been stopped. I don't think he got it. Uh, is that RJ B? Uh, no, who's that coming out there with the ball? That's Waylon Perkins coming Waylon. out of there with the ball. Waylon. We'll see what the official says. Austin Walker I think flexing as he heads to the sidelines. I think that's a definitely a turnover on downs, and looks like Fleming County is just uh, the other one. Yeah, Austin off. Walker, he's had a great season. Powerful stop there, and it is a turnover on downs. Greenup County will take possession of the football. What a night here it's, for this Musketeer football team. It's been a very scary Halloween for no, Fleming County no, tonight. So it has. It's been a nightmare type of situation. So um, with Greenup's offense, I mean, they just uh, dominated. And now our defense is stepping up, and we've seen that, Ryan. I mean, we've seen our defense do this all season. So They've stepped up when it was very timely. Here we go, Greenup County with the football. Seemed like I noticed a couple of extra numbers in there as the. I'm not sure what. It didn't look like we were ready or set or something else. It is Sam and still that quarterback, but uh, he lost yardage all the way back to the near the one or two yard line. Yeah, we're really pinned deep. That was a great stop, but I mean, we're we're almost to the, like you said, Little Caesars and Greenup. We're gonna have a, a good run at them. We're at least uh, the marathon station, I think maybe. We are. Seven seconds on the play clock as the Musketeers break the huddle. Looks like, is that a new quarterback in the game? Or I'm sorry. Oh, I, did we get a delay again? That is a new quarterback in the game, and we get a safety. That's number 18. In the, in the ball game. Am I correct on that, Sean? Am I seeing that right? Um, Cash Ratcliffe, the backup quarterback. Was that a safety run or? I can't imagine it not being. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it was the uh, Yeah, that was Ratcliffe on the carry that time for the Musketeers. 
He got tackled in the end zone. So that puts two points on the board for Fleming County. 59-36 now. The score. And I'm, I, <clears throat> you rarely see a safety like in high school football games, but, I mean, it happens. So do we kick off to Fleming? Did they get the ball back? Yeah, we'll choose to either kick off to them or punt the football to them. So we'll see what Greenup County chooses to do here. And, again, this, this gives you the – you know, you just wonder why Fleming County didn't have any urgency on that previous drive, letting they, the time just melt off the clock. So now there's only 2.26 remaining. Yeah, they really – they. I was really surprised by that, as explosive as their offense is. I mean, you know, they're – I mean, they were still time in the game. I mean, anything could happen. I mean, they could score. You know, we can fumble the kickoff. Um, yeah, Musketeers come out. Uh, looks like we – We've forgotten which way we're going. I think we've already entered celebration mode on this senior I night. I think so. <laughs> the referees get Greenup County positioned where they need to be positioned in Fleming County. A big Landon Johnson in the middle of the field. If it gets in his hands, look out. 226 remaining in this football game. Yeah, looks like we're going to. 59 points, the most that the Fleming County defense has surrendered all season long. Wow. There's the kick up the middle. It's handled uh, right at the 44-yard line. Yep. Where Fleming County will take over. Yeah, Greenup County bringing in some uh, new numbers on the field here. I see uh, number 72 going into the game. I'll try to get some of these names as we can get these numbers, Sean, if you can yeah, it's, it's really identify some of those numbers. Yeah, it's really hard number to see. Number 72 them. in the game. Sawyer Murphy's in there. Number 27 looks like he's in the game. That's Peyton Grayson. Okay. Uh, that's just a couple that I happen to see. Number 14, Colin Alexander, sophomore out here. On the near side, playing defensive back. So Greenup County has brought in the entire second string defense, it looks like. And Fleming County looks like they might have reciprocated. Here's, here's some new numbers in the game for Fleming County as well. Like maybe number 15, is that Tyler Emmons in the game? Here's a give to number 20. One coming this way. Number 21 may go all the way. 21 with a cutback. He takes it in. That's Blake Everidge, a freshman for Fleming County, taking it into the end zone on the very first play. Wow. Yeah, that like I said, this Fleming County team, they're so dangerous. Uh, you know, they can score in a, in a snap. Yeah, they're, they're gonna, it's going to be a really tough game next year, I mean, especially. I mean, you know, we, we saw it tonight. We saw it preseason. I mean, they're big. They're physical. Um, nice run there by Blake Everidge, freshman running back for the Panthers. No, it's number 18, it looks like, at quarterback, uh, Lane Moran. Moran throws it into the air. looks like it's uh, into the end zone. Two-point conversion is complete. And that makes our score 59 to 44. Let's just stay right here. Andy is a uh, two minutes, 14 seconds is all that's left in this football game. And the Greenup County lead is now 15. 59-44. What, I mean, what a display. Yeah. I mean, who, who would have thought we would have scored over 100 points tonight? They get a report. Ashland won by a score of 49-42. They probably – they thought they had the game with the highest point total in the area, but uh-uh. No. Check it out here at Lloyd, 59 to 44. Yeah. You want offense? We got it right here. That's right. Ashland tried to beat us again, and they lost. <laughs> here we go. Fleming County, I'm sure they're going to probably onside kick this one. We have to get our hands team up there, and I do see Caden Holmes, Jasper Davis, 
Uh, Austin Walker, Waylon Perkins, and uh, from that far side of the field, Tyson Law, I believe, on the front line. The hands team in. Tyson Sammons is in. Drew Boggs. They're ready to field this onside kick. Parker Sills gets the football, finally, from the official. Yeah, the way he's got it set up, Ryan, looks like they're going to try to do an onside kick or just kind of scoot it up the field a little bit. Let's see what they're going to do. There's yep. the onside kick. It uh, is fielded well on the far side by the Musketeers. Looks like Aiden Goo got on that one on the far side of the field. Why not Aiden Goo, Sean? That's right. Aiden Goo, I mean, so many spectacular players tonight, and he's definitely uh, one of the heroes for sure. So, What a season and what a career Aiden Goo has had. And we got more games to come. So We do, yes. Yeah, next week we've we got to go to Covington to face Covington Catholic, the Colonels. They'll be waiting for us there as the – the Popcorn Colonels. The Popcorn Colonels. They'll be waiting for us in Covington next weekend. Looks like we have Caden Holmes going in there on offense this time. As a, a timeout on the field right now. Uh, yeah, looks like it's a timeout on the field. So we'll just stay here again because I didn't get it when the timeout was initially called. Was that... So it's been a good, it's been a good game tonight. Fifty-nine to forty-four. The Musketeers lead this one, Sean. Great senior night, as we've said. Every one of the seniors have gotten involved, uh, had their moments in the sun tonight, and really couldn't have gone any better. Yeah, you know the crowd. You know, uh, hats off. I mean, you know these these kids are out here playing, playing for their school. They're playing for the fans, and the fans. You know, a lot of time after senior night and different things like that, people leave and stuff like that. But nobody has left this stadium, so it's been a it's been a great atmosphere, great crowd, and uh, Greenup has good fans. They sure do. Yeah, very loyal fans. A uh, good, great community support here at Greenup. Good things going on here at Greenup County as uh, the Musketeers come out. Is that Ratcliffe again at quarterback? Yeah, it looks like it. And bobble the snap, and we get torn down in the backfield for a loss of about two yards. I'd like to see who that was on the carry. Oh, it's Tyson Law. Tyson Law on the carry. Yeah, and Tyson, you know, he's one of those backs, too. We saw a little bit from him last week, so. Um, yeah, yeah, if you can give him a little bit of room. I like the way he ran the football last week. Tyson Law runs it very hard, and uh, – he just didn't have any blocking that time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he can get loose and. Musketeer send number 51. Looks like Ryan Hazlett into the game. A junior, Greenup County. Three seconds on the play clock. They better get this snap off. They're, they're in motion in the backfield. That's going to be a flag down, or do they get the timeout in time? They got the time. No, I'm not sure. I don't think yeah, they got the timeout. Let's take one more break here. Uh, 125 left here on My Town TV. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly, they talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or, you know, several years, and I think you, you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home, and it felt like it was right because we tried. We're back here. Second down and 11. Rackliff at quarterback, uh, another low snap. That, that really has foiled the second team all the time. To give the law up the middle, no gain. But uh, we've seen that consistently all season long. Uh, Greenup County needs to work on that snapping on the yeah. second string. Yeah, that's, that was a little low. And, you know, these kids, I mean, that's good to get some experience, especially in a big game like this. And yeah. So, um, 
but they'll they'll get the snap down run. Yeah, they've got to they got to work on that in the off season. Uh, as uh, uh, Greenup County does lose their center this year, got to find uh, somebody to do that job next season. Elijah Smith graduates. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and he's. Uh, him and who's the other? Uh, Tom, uh, Elijah Smith and Ethan Thomas yeah, both Thomas. graduate from the line. Yeah, so that, that's going to be some big losses for us. And too bad they didn't score tonight. So here we go. Here's another give to Law, and he's or is that Law? I'm sorry, folks. If it, I think that was Law. I think yeah, that Tyson might be Law it. again. No yards. 20 seconds, they're going to let this one tick off here. At the farm on senior night, the Greenup County Musketeers defeat the Fleming County Panthers by a score of 59-44. It's probably going to take me about five minutes to add up these stats in this one because they are enormous, I tell you. Three, two, one, and the season is over from the farm. Greenup County, 15-point win tonight. We'll be right back with the post-game show here on My Town TV. Safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. Advanta Clean, your 24 7 experts for water and mold. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. Something that made me want to work with Regroup was um, the relationships that I have with my colleagues. My leadership and my supervisors are always the first ones to be able to um, help me with anything and I love being able to be entrusted with the responsibilities that I have. But know that if I have problems that I'm able to go to either my fellow clinicians or colleagues or um, my leadership team to help me with any kind of problem. We're back here on the farm and Sean, if you look down to your right, you'll see them wheeling your famous cannon out. I hate to see that go. I hate to see the cannon be put up for the season. I'll tell you, 59 points, run. I mean, we just was, about ran out of It was well ammo. used. We probably used every bit of ammo we had. That thing is swollen right now. They're going to have to let that cannon cool off. Yeah, we had that going on on the right end of the field, the left end of the field. We had Travis Jones getting soaked in a Gatorade bath. Yes, he's going to be wet and cold coming up here, and he can – he can have my seat here in just a second. So. <laughs> have your headphones. You probably don't want to put them back on after this one. No, no, not after that. Yeah, Travis Jones uh, did a great job this in his initial season. The Greenup County Musketeers secure a winning season for the second season in a row, going 6-4 and four on the season, on the regular season this year, heading into the playoffs. 
Yeah, we've had like a spectacular season. You know, we had a spectacular season last year. We just kind of built on that this year. Such a fun team to watch, um, you know, from game one. I mean, you know, really we should probably be 7-4. and four. I mean, I think the Colgro game was ours. And, you know, we um, these kids, they have a lot of grit. They have, a, the, you know, they stick together. Um, you, you could just tell, and Coach Jones has done a, a fabulous job with this team, and I can't wait to see next year. Yeah, there's definitely bright things ahead for this Greenup County football program as these seniors tonight have done a, a spectacular job, and we'll talk to Travis about that when he comes up. You know, what a, what a way to go out. What a way to go out on your last night, uh, scoring touchdowns galore oh and making big plays galore. Oh, my God. You know, you know, I, I was excited about the game. I knew it was going to be a, an offensive offensive show. But 59 to 44, you know, over 100 points scored tonight. And uh, it was a slug It was a slug match. I mean, it was a really fun to watch. I mean, it was exciting to see what the next play was going to be. So spectacular game, great crowd, great atmosphere, great weather. Um, man, I just can't say enough. I had yeah, such we, a great time. That's a good point. We never had to get out our mitts or our uh, toboggans all season long. No, no, we're still wearing shorts and our cutoff t shirt So it's, it's great. It's nice and warm up here. Yeah, great game by the Musketeers tonight, 59-44, to 44, the final score. We'll take another break here on the My Town TV postgame show and be right back. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family-oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you. You know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or, you know, several years, and I think, you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home, and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And 3 to $6 happy hour deals from 3 to 6 p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. You're wondering why you struggle to concentrate. You don't understand why your mood swings and your energy is down. You're asking yourself why you have feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or even suicidal thoughts. Your mind is screaming, help. Pathways is listening. Call or chat with our crisis helpline now at pathways-ky.org. Back here at the farm, I tell you, we just saw a spectacular game here tonight. Greenup won 59 to 44 over Fleming County. Uh, just an incredible show of offense from Greenup County and the power and the strength. Uh, seniors Aiden Goo scored twice. Brody Stevens scored. Uh, R.J. Beach, of course, Ty Sammons. I mean, it was just a. Uh, they just kind of passed the ball around. You know, if we could have put uh, running back jerseys on our two senior linemen, then they would have probably scored as well. So uh, just a great night for Greenup, great atmosphere. And uh, it, was a, it was a great win to, uh, you know, have like a winning season. So um, anyway, I'm going to turn it back here to Ryan Parker. But uh, thank you so much for tuning in to the farm. We got more to come. All right. We got Travis Jones joining us now. Travis, you told me you didn't feel too good this morning. You feel any better? A win always makes you feel better. <laughs> yeah, you gotta I feel, feel better, better after now. that. You've, you've had a look like a, a Gatorade bath. A cold time. bath always makes you feel better a little <laughs> bit too. So, a win and a cold bath, I'm feeling better. No, I mean, but uh, tonight, I mean, uh, you know, obviously we gave a lot of big plays, but hey, we got to take the positives away from tonight. What a senior night! For these seniors, we played uh, a heck of a game offensively. We did not play a very good game defensively. Um, 
They got two. I mean, they have more than two, but they have two very good players on offense. Number 20, the Austin Trent kid, the running back, and then number two, um, Johnson. He's just a heck of a player. And then number 10 is a really good uh, tight end for him. And 33, they have some really good players. So, uh we just struggled to uh, tackle number two and number 20 a little bit, and they uh, busted some long runs. So I, I wish we would have played better defensively. Yeah. Uh, we knew that coming into it that uh, we felt like we were going to score. Yeah. Uh, we just wanted to play a little bit better defensively, and we didn't really get that accomplished. Yeah, we definitely gave up some big hits, some lightning strikes, it yeah. seemed like, from Fleming County. But we had many of our own. And I'm so happy to see our seniors involved in so many of them. Mike Henderson up over 100 yards rushing, I believe, for the first time this season. Yeah, he's been about 80 or so a couple times. He's, I'm glad to hear he got over 100. He ran, he ran really well tonight. Incredibly well. Yeah. I, that's what I said. He saved his best for last, it yeah. seemed like, making something out of nothing many times and getting the extra yards over and over. And, of course, Tyson Sam is just a ridiculous night, really. I, mean, I think his stat line is probably pretty crazy. Nearly 200 yards passing, four touchdowns, uh, 126 yards rushing, three touchdowns, seven touchdowns on the night accounted yeah, for. It was, was a good yeah, game by him. Pretty crazy, yeah, indeed. And uh, not only those two, though, but also the other seniors, Brody Stevens. It was so happy to see him get a 78-yard yeah, touchdown. Yeah, big play on that slant there. Uh, and Brody's fast. When he gets the ball in space, it's, you're not very many people going to catch him. Yeah, and Aiden Goo, of course, doing what he's done all season long. Yes. Having got another big game from him. Yeah, great job by him. Even right down to Carter Gillum made his extra points. He made good every job extra tonight. point. It was good. We went for two a little bit there early. Just yeah. We like to try to get the game, uh, try to make a couple two-point conversions in a row there at the beginning of the game. Something we started doing here the last couple weeks. And yeah. uh, force them to try to go for two. And then if we stop them, then we get up three possessions. Uh, you know, you get that 17 points. So uh, our guys executed really well. We got up three possessions there when we got our two-point conversions. And then we were able to kick the ball the rest of the game. Yeah, did a great job. And not to be remiss in mentioning the other seniors on the line, you know, Elijah Smith, Ethan Thomas, you know, Fischl, Schmock, you know, the, the players that don't get a lot of credit yeah. throughout the games. But uh, Elijah Smith, you know, done a great job at center all, all – he he, how, how, how many years has he started for us? This is his uh, third year starting for us, playing yeah. every single snap at center. And he just – there's not a kid that plays harder than Elijah Smith. And there's not a kid that loves Granite County football more than Elijah Smith. Yeah. Uh, he's a kid that we're going to – you know, once this season wraps up, we're really going to miss him. He's a – Great kid, and uh, yeah. he always plays hard. Yeah, and, of course, Ethan Thomas as well. Ethan and, Thomas as and well. It was, it was good to see R.J. Veach, of course, uh, uh, turn on the Jets there. You know, he, Look, made, he made a heck of a run there, he, he man. Did. And then well, uh, go all the he way. gets down to the one-yard line. I was like, <laughs> we better give that guy a ball again, get him, try and get you know senior in the end zone. R.J. Veach is a guy that uh, didn't play football until his senior year. He yeah. started for our basketball team the last couple of years, came out, and uh, he's played. he starts defense for us. And, you know, we just – he hasn't been able to work his way into the rotation offensively. We just have, we play with three receivers most of the time, and we got three who I feel are pretty good receivers. So, yeah. you know, he started out the year at receiver, and we tried to get him in an F a little bit when uh, Ike went down, and it was good to see him get the ball and make a play and go score a touchdown. No doubt about it. So we're really happy about the whole night here. Uh, it's a beautiful night, senior night, great crowd, great support throughout the season from the fans here at Greenup County. I thought it was a great crowd for our last game here. You know, I mean, these people stuck with us where we went through those three-game stretch there, and our, they showed out tonight for our seniors. I'm really proud of them. You know, uh, the theme was blackout. We wore a black uniform. Student section was all blacked out, and uh, I think our crowd did a pretty good job of blacking out too. It was awesome. And you, as well as everybody else, has been up since about 4 or 5 o'clock this morning. Well, I did not go, actually. <laughs> I was throwing up all <laughs> night and morning, so okay. I did not go to school today. I okay. was uh, – you know, I hated to miss that. I saw yeah. the video. It was just awesome experience, I bet. And I would hate it. I mean, I just got sick last night. Yeah. I was up all night sick and this morning. And, uh, you know, I showed up here about 1 o'clock today. I started feeling a little bit better. Uh, yeah. And uh, I feel a lot better now after that uh, cold bath and the wind. Well, I hope you can get some rest this week because, uh, you know, the regular season's over. We have clinched the second winning season in a row for Greenup County football. So things are going in a positive direction for us here at Greenup County. It's been a pleasure covering the team all season long. You've provided a lot of excitement all season long, and we look forward, I look forward to packing up the My Town radio gear and heading down to Covington. We're this excited for Friday. the challenge, man. There's one of the best teams in the state. No doubt. Uh, our guys are going to show up, have a great week of practice. I know they are, and uh, that's why they play the game, right? Nobody thinks we're going to win, but uh, right, that's, why, uh, that's why you play the game. Go down there and, uh, you know, we're ready to compete.
Yeah, I likened it to a David versus Goliath challenge. I mean, Covington Catholic is definitely a Goliath in the state of Kentucky football. Yes. and uh, we'll Great go. history, great yeah. tradition there, and uh, that's what something we're trying to get to. You know, I mean, yeah. like you said, two winning seasons in a row. We're climbing to try to get there, and uh, mm-hmm. let's go uh, see how we can compete with them next week. All right. Thank you very much for joining us, Travis. It's been a pleasure covering you all season long. We look forward to it next week down at Covington. Please join us here on My Town Radio next week. So thanks a lot, Travis. All right. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Go take care of yourself. Feel better. Thank you. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Thanks for joining us. All right. So from uh, Greenup County here in Lloyd, Kentucky at the farm, it's 59-44. The Greenup County Musketeers win it on senior night. What a night it's been here from Greenup County and what a season it has been as well. Six and four, the Musketeers complete the regular season. Join us next Friday on the road on My Town Radio. I'll be there on the call from Covington, Kentucky. The Covington Catholic Colonels will host the Greenup County Musketeers. So, for Sean Boggs, uh, for our production crew, for our camera crew, it's been a long night here at Greenup County, guys. <laughs> Andy and uh, I believe it's Jeremy up on top. I think I saw Jeremy earlier upstairs. So, uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, have a good night, everybody. <laughs>